Eunice has a friendly small town atmosphere, great schools and churches, and a low cost of living. The entire community is very involved with all levels of sports and academics. The Eunice Department of Motor Vehicles new office hours are Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. No testing on Friday. Eunice, a friendly small town with a wonderful community and amenities. Devon Energy is proud to support Eunice High School athletic programs. By partnering with Eunice, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills our youth will use to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Cardinals! The Eunice Clinic is proud to support the Eunice Cardinals. Go Cardinals! You're the pride of Eunice. The Eunice Health Clinic offers many of the same basic services that many local physicians provide. They specialize in well sick care for all ages, well women's exams, physicals, health education, lab tests, and diagnostic studies. They're proud supporters of athletic and academic events. The Eunice Health Clinic is proud to back the Cardinals. Go Cards! Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. Eunice schools are excited to have students and staff back on campus and involved in another successful school term. It's been an eventful year and the Eunice schools are ready for whatever comes their way. Eunice public schools provide high quality educational experiences in a safe environment. The entire Eunice community is very involved with all levels of sports and academics. Eunice a friendly small town with a wonderful community and amenities and a fantastic school system. NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company, leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service and pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Redbird Garage is your hometown local mechanic shop specializing in minor and major repairs from oil changes, car washes, brake work, AC repair, and so much more. For more information, call 394-8828. Call 394-8828. Or swing by Redbird Garage at 1800 North Main Street in Eunice and meet the new owners, Josh and Erica Jones. Redbird Garage is your hometown mechanic shop committed to always doing what's right for you and your vehicle. Bart Parker, owner of Redbird LP Gas Company, and his employees are proud of their Eunice Cardinals. Bart, class of 1971, state champions of both basketball and baseball, support the kids with their academics and athletics. They realize that balancing both is challenging and appreciate their determination. Redbird knows the Eunice Cardinals have worked really hard to get where they're at, and they are cheering them on all the way. Bart and his crew say, Go Eunice Cardinals! Parker Energy Services has been servicing the community for over 17 years. They offer water hauling, dirt work, and disposable services. Dispatchers and sales staff are available anytime, and office staff is available from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., Monday through Friday. Parker Energy aims to satisfy their customers and give their employees great job opportunities. Parker Energy is family-owned and operated, big enough to meet your needs and small enough to offer excellent and personalized services. Consider Parker Energy support services for all of your support needs. Needs. Visit them today at 2350 Avenue O in Eunice. 
NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company, leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service in pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Testing mics, testing one, two, three, testing mics here in Loving, New Mexico. Getting ready to go live. Just trying to make sure that our mics sound okay before we start the official broadcast. You're listening to No Mark Broadcasting's coverage of Eunice Cardinal Sports. I'm Jimmy Jones alongside my partner tonight, Charlie Fairbrush. How you doing, Charlie? I'm doing great. Testing these mics out, making sure we're going to sound loud and clear for all of our 10 million listeners for the night. There you go. It's a good day to be a Cardinal. We will be back live, ready to go here in just the next couple of minutes. Once again, thank you for listening to No Mark Broadcasting's coverage of Eunice Cardinal Sports. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. Eunice has a friendly small town atmosphere, great schools and churches, and a low cost of living. The entire community is very involved with all levels of sports and academics. The Eunice Department of Motor Vehicles new office hours are Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. No testing on Friday. Eunice, a friendly small town with a wonderful community and amenities. Devon Energy is proud to support Eunice High School athletic programs. By partnering with Eunice, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills are youthful used to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Cardinals! Parker Energy Services has been servicing the community for over 17 years. They offer water hauling, dirt work, and disposable services. Dispatchers and sales staff are available anytime, and office staff is available from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., Monday through Friday. Parker Energy aims to satisfy their customers and give their employees great job opportunities. Parker Energy is family-owned and operated, big enough to meet your needs and small enough to offer excellent and personalized services. Consider Parker Energy support services for all of your support needs. Needs. Visit them today at 2350 Avenue O in Eunice. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to No Mark Broadcasting's coverage of Eunice Cardinal Sports. I'm Jimmy Jones alongside my partner, Charlie Fairbrush, for the night. Good evening, Charlie. Good evening, everybody. We're ready to play some football over here in the, the big city of Loving, New Mexico. 
We are live here in Loving for week number 10 of the NMAA high school football season. We are two weeks away from the 2023 football playoffs and tonight is another district matchup. And one thing is for certain, District 4 2A is by far the toughest football district in the entire state for 2A football. At, uh, as right now, four of the top six teams in the state are in this district, and three of the top four teams in the state are in this district. Once again, I'm Jimmy Jones alongside Charlie Fairbrush, a.k.a. The Thumb, Resendo Caballero, uh, A.K.A. Bernie Mac is not <laughs> with us tonight. Bernie Mac is macking somewhere. That's right. He had some family obligations. We are on the road tonight here in loving New Mexico, home of the Falcons, where the six and one, number six ranked loving Falcons will host the seven and two, number one ranked two A football team in the state, your Eunice Cardinals. These two teams both have a shot at a district championship here in the toughest district in the state as. Loving is one and one in district and still has two more district games to go. One of those games is next week versus Texaco. If Loving can upset the Eunice Cardinals tonight and beat Texaco next week, they would be your district champion most likely. But for Eunice, they hold the keys to their own district championship as a win tonight locks up that district title for the Cardinals. Eunice enters tonight's game in a bit of a whirlwind. Everyone is well aware of the drama that has played out in Eunice over the last week. I had already written my game notes and didn't have any intention of including it. It was not included, but some pansy, and I'll say it again, some pansy wanted me to be quiet and not mention it tonight. They wanted me to go around and or wanted to go around me in an attempt to silence me, but I guarantee you, I'm not one to silence. The, the judge situation, will not be silenced. It, judge or not, it, the situation is what it is. I'm going to focus, or I'm not going to focus on it tonight and get into detail about the situation, but I guarantee you one thing. One thing is for certain. You pansies that think you'll tell me to be quiet can go pound sand because I wasn't looking for a job when I got this one, and I won't be looking for another one tomorrow. So it is what it is. If the truth hurts your feelings, then it's you that needs to do a reality check and do some soul searching, not me. I'm going to call it as I see it. When I can't do that anymore, I'll find some nice beach to go sit on. If my honesty and being frank bothers you or hurts your feelings, then all I can say is too bad for Sorry. you. Sorry. The Cardinals enter tonight's game missing some key kids. Most of those are seniors missing from tonight's game, and it will hurt this Eunice team, no doubt. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm not pointing fingers in any direction, but the fact of the matter is we are not 100% tonight. We have kids missing over disciplinary issues. The Cardinals will still have some amazing weapons mm -hmm. as sophomore quarterback Elijah Melanson will be calling the shots from the quarterback position. This young man has had an amazing season so far throwing 28 touchdown passes. He is not a small kid either, standing well over six foot. He's a big bodied kid. He's not small and this big fella can run. He's got speed. He can turn a broken play into a long touchdown run in the blink of the eye. He is a special young man at the quarterback position. Melanson will still have three of his top targets on the receiving side on the field with him tonight. Uh, team leader and senior Ashton Thompson will be on the field. The senior leads this team in touchdowns, receiving yards, total catches. He has 15 touchdown receptions on the season. He averages nearly 100 yards receiving per game and grabs over seven catches per game. He's fast, he's quick, he can turn a short catch into a 90-yard touchdown at any moment. This young man is the leader on this team. Second on the team in receiving yards is Maddox Mata. Mata is second on the team in touchdown catches with six. Old Green Gloves, as Rosendo often mm -hmm. refers to him, is the spark on this team. He always seems to excel and light that spark when this team needs him the most. And tonight, 
just might be that night. He is also mm -hmm. a great player on defense and does some big things for the Cardinals on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, yeah. The, team, uh, the team's next big receiver is not only big physically at 6'4", but he can also put up big numbers on offense and defense. He gets better each and every week. He has been a defensive standout on the team all season, leading the team in tackles and interceptions over the last few games. He has turned, um, he's turned out to be quite the <coughs> offensive target, and that is Luis Gomez. Another big piece of this Eunice offense is Elgin Woods. Woods has been a stick of dynamite from the running back position. He is averaging nearly 100 yards per game, and he was injured for a few games only playing certain downs. So that 100 yards per game is even more impressive as mm. some of those games he missed part of the game as yep. they were trying to keep him, conserve him for later in the season. He's had multiple games with well over 150 yards rushing. He's second on the team in touchdowns with 11 on the year. As far as the missing pieces, Eunice is missing several major defensive components. There are also uh, they are also missing several offensive and defensive linemen. Make no mistake, this team is nowhere near 100%. If the Cardinal team can take care of business here in Loving tonight, just know it was done without numerous key players. This Eunice team has already taken down Texaco, Hagerman, Jal, and this is the final district game here tonight as Eunice faces Loving. A win here tonight, as I mentioned earlier, locks up the district title for the Eunice Cardinals. Eunice does have a bye the last week of the season, which is next week. For Loving, they have been a top-notch team this season. They started the season 6-0 and with wins over some historically tough programs, such as New Mexico Military Institute, who they beat 13-12. to they, uh, they beat Capitan 60-6, to an impressive win there. They beat Mescalero 53-6, to a Mescalero team that is definitely improved. They picked up a couple of big wins over big school JVs. They've also grabbed a win over Hagerman in a forfeit. Uh, this loving team can play. They are very capable, and there is no doubt about it. Eunice will have to come out here and take care of business to get the better of Loving. Loving is led by senior quarterback Caleb Rodriguez. This young man is thrown for 18 touchdowns on the season. He is completing nearly 70% of his passes and has a crazy impressive QB rating of 119.8. Yeah. That is an amazing QB rating. His favorite target is sophomore Tristan Ansuarez. On Suarez has seven touchdown catches and averages over 70 yards receiving per game. In the backfield, sophomore Bobby Perez has quickness and speed. He averages 110 yards rushing per game. He also has six touchdowns on the season. The Falcons are led in tackling on the defensive side by Eduardo De La Cruz, who averages over seven tackles per game. Uh, Kisaya Lujan is right there with him at seven tackles per game. This loving team plays uh had played head to head with Jal just a week or so ago in that game it was seven to six entering the fourth quarter Jal did end up winning 24 to six but this loving team showed they can play they can hang so that's yeah. the tail of the tape we're getting ready to begin we're here it looks like they got about seven a little over seven minutes on the clock they're doing a senior night it's also uh kind of like we had our dig pink last our mm -hmm. game last night they're kind of doing that here at the football game so it's the cancer awareness game got a lot of people still on the field a lot of introductions and whatnot going on um the the two teams already warmed up, huh, Charlie? Yeah, they warmed up earlier and they're ready to roll. All right, so I will go ahead and mention my keys to victory. For Eunice, the offense leaders are going to need to grab the reins, steady the ship, and put points on the board. If Eunice's offense can get going, the cards can take care of business here tonight. Number two, offensive and defensive line. There are some new young men that will be on that offensive and defensive yeah. line tonight. Those young men stepping into those positions positions are very capable this team is deep there's a bunch of kids out there so even with those missing those young men can do the job they've done it in our JV games they can do it and if they take care of business Eunice will not have a problem here tonight number three they got to keep the turnovers under control we can't give loving free ammo for loving 
They need to attack early. They must get on the cards before these youngsters get the hang of things and get to feeling confident. Number two, take advantage of those missing pieces on both the offensive and defensive line. And number three, they must get pressure on Melanson, the quarterback, in order for them to be successful. So those are my, uh, my keys to victory for both teams. Any thoughts, Charlie? No, you know, like you said, we get, we're going to have some young kids. It's time for them to step up. I mean, the season is getting close to the end. And uh, next year, a lot of those kids are going to be out here doing it every game. So I think, I think you know, and I've, a lot of these kids have been in in some of our games where we've gotten, you know, way ahead. And uh, they look good. I think we have a real – I still think we have a very uh, valid shot at, at taking this, uh, this game here tonight. Yeah, and I agree with you. We we are a deep team. I mean, most of the teams that we play this year have 20 to 30 kids on them. When we're at home, I think our roster runs close to 60. Yeah. And so uh, that is uh, that's not normal. It's not normal for these, not normal for these size schools. I mean, that's the kind of numbers that you see in the four or five A division. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, every away game, including today, I know, for example, my, my fella or my, my little fellas at home, you know, they don't bring a bunch of those freshmen to these games. They get to stand on the right. sidelines at the home games, but we've probably left 20 kids at home today. We'd have to have uh, another bus. <laughs> yes, and that's, and that's why we leave so many yeah. at home. So uh, the two teams are starting to filter onto the field. I will tell you this. This is a newly improved uh, Loving Falcon field here. Um, it looks good. It, it yeah. looks amazing. They've done an amazing job making it look good. They're working on the track. That looks good. I got a shout out to Loving because they've done a really good job turning this place around. It looks really good here today. Uh, I got, uh, I got uh, Mr. White over here not too far from us, and uh, him and his crew have done an amazing job making this place look good. They've turned this football program back around. Uh, they've done some good things here in Loving. So a shout-out to Lee White and his group mm -hmm. over here at Loving. And one thing about them, they always treat us well when we come over here. Yep. So we appreciate them for sure. sure. Yeah, so. It, may, it makes a lot of difference. <laughs> yeah, no, no doubt. They're, uh, they're building a new track around the field here, mm -hmm. too. It's not completely finished. But this is going to be a, it's going to be a top-notch place when they get all this done. Yeah, the, they did warn us not to not, not to, to go step down the on track. the track. Yeah. They got some stuff. They said it'd be sticking to your shoes. Yeah. So. Um. You know, one one thing that I will tell you, we're in the old press box. They're going to do some work to this press box. They haven't finished it yet. So the the glass in the press box. Uh, you know, we're always giving uh, Rescindo a hard time telling him how rough our glass is at home on ours. It's, it's water spots. This one's a little worse. So yeah. if the uh, if the camera catches some of that, it might get a little blurry. Trust me, I'll talk enough to tell you what's happening. But uh, we we definitely appreciate you listening. Yep. Okay. Let me run down our uh, sponsor right quick if I can see this. Start off with Parker Energy, Brett and Penny Parker. BTH Services and Rental, Chad Howler, Eunice Pump and Supply, Becky Nogemeyer, Brandon Matthews and crew. I'm trying to keep my light going here. Yep. Uh, Eunice Health Clinic, Brian, Elma Romero, Aaron Pascal, and all the gang. Eunice Public Schools, Dwayne Haynes, Cynthia Sims, uh, Rosendo, we miss you, buddy. Matt Coy, Kenny Reed, Mrs. Hahn, David Gallegos, and all the staff. City of Eunice, uh, Billy Hobbs and Shannon Cummings. Cardinal Hardware, the Davis and Myers family, Redbird Gas, or excuse me, Redbird Garage, uh, Josh and Erica Jones, the other Jones. What is uh, what is uh, Bernie Mac call it? The original Erica? Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm not sure which one's original, but. <laughs> uh, Devon Energy, uh, you know, Bryce Jenkins, uh, Ryan Dean, and I think uh, Jimmy calls this the Devon, the uh, place where. High school quarterbacks go to start their careers after after high school, uh, but they are hiring in the Eunice area. So if you're looking for something to do, uh, you know, get on their website, take a look. NMR Pipeline LLC, Bettis Family, Stacy Pop, Lobo Trucking, Redbird Gas, Mr. Bart Parker, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, John Dean and Maureen Davis. Guns Up Services, the Thompson family, Devon Energy, 
Uh, oh, again, it's hiring. <laughs> so I already mentioned that. So you got an extra one, Devin. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Debbie's Country Kitchen, good place to go get a bite just about any day of the week. And Herrera's Oil Field Services. So a lot of a lot of a lot of sponsors. You know, we've talked about it before when we very first uh, started doing this. I think we had four or five <laughs> that we'd mention, and you could you could say them three times during the break. Now we get a little break, and we're lucky to get through the list. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely true. Um, already, you know, my my phone's already blowing up. And <laughs> messages, people sending me messages saying they're listening, and different different other tidbits of information. Um, you know, I we we appreciate you. We appreciate you listening. We appreciate the the uh, support for these Cardinals, for these kids. Looks like they're getting ready to say the national anthem, so we'll send it over for a word from our sponsors. You're listening to No Mark Broadcasting's coverage of Eunice Cardinal Sports. Bart Parker, owner of Redford LP Gas Company and his employees, are proud of their Eunice Cardinals. Bart, class of 1971, state champions of both basketball and baseball, support the kids with their academics and athletics. They realize that balancing both is challenging and appreciate their determination. Redford knows the Eunice Cardinals have worked really hard to get where they're at, and they are cheering them on all the way. Bart and his crew say, Go Eunice Cardinals! Redbird Garage is your hometown local mechanic shop specializing in minor and major repairs from oil changes, car washes, brake work, AC repair, and so much more. For more information, call 394-8828. Call 394-8828. Or swing by Redbird Garage at 1800 North Main Street in Eunice and meet the new owners, Josh and Erica Jones. Redbird Garage is your hometown mechanic shop committed to always doing what's right for you and your vehicle. Parker Energy Services has been servicing the community for over 17 years. They offer water hauling, dirt work, and disposable services. Dispatchers and sales staff are available anytime, and office staff is available from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., Monday through Friday. Parker Energy aims to satisfy their customers and give their employees great job opportunities. Parker Energy is family-owned and operated, big enough to meet your needs and small enough to offer excellent and personalized services. Consider Parker Energy support services for all of your support needs. Needs. Visit them today at 2350 Avenue O in Eunice. BTH Services is a locally owned and operated family oriented business. BTH Services and Rental is a Portage on and Equipment Rental Company. BTH Services and Rental also clears right of ways and right of way reclamation. Please call 575 964 3104. That's 575 964 3104 for all of your company needs. BTH Services and Rental is also looking for a one ton CDL driver. Please apply at 2100 Avenue O in Eunice. BTH Services and Rental is a proud sponsor of Lee County Athletics. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Nomark Broadcasting's coverage of Eunice Cardinal Sports. We've got the national anthem uh, over and done with, so now it is looking like both teams heading out onto the thank you onto the field. Loving will be wearing the home red jerseys, white numbers, white pants, white helmets. Eunice will have the white pants, white jerseys, white helmets. So uh, if it looks a little confusing out there, it does to me as well. Getting ready to kick off here. We're getting ready to get started. Once again, it's me alongside Charlie Fairbrush. Resendo sending us messages, so he's listening. <laughs> Shout out listening. to you, Resendo. We appreciate you. Thanks for listening. We, so, need, we need all the listeners. Loving getting ready for the kickoff here. Eunice will be going from our left to right. As we've mentioned, we're play are we're in this uh, the press box got a little bit of a haze on the window, so if it creates a glare, that's all we can do. Here's that ball's taken over on the left side, headed around is I think that's Mata. He breaks it around, still on his feet, still going, pushes nice. all the way out to about the 40 yard line. Looks like they're gonna spot him at the 40. I think that was Mata. I'm looking through this glaze. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but that's sure who it looked like. Yeah, the window is about like ours back in the unit, except we can open ours a little bit. Hey, I want to I wanna shout out to Debbie's Country Kitchen. Debbie, it's uh, 27th birthday at Debbie's Country Kitchen, one of oh, our big sponsors. Yeah. Thank you. Happy. First and 10, ball spotted at the 40. Here we go. Eunice, three receivers right, two to the left. Melanson in the backfield. He takes the snap, looking down the field. Got receivers open across. He hits old green gloves right down the middle. I believe that was Mata. 
Well, and they take a, him down at about the 39-yard line. Big play there for the Cardinals. Got a 20-yard pickup on that one. That's pretty good. Yeah, shot. and I, I got to tell you, I'm going to be struggling. <laughs> I said that was Mata. That may have been Thompson. Looks like Thompson almost has a little green on his gloves, and so he <laughs> may throw me for a complete flip if that's him. We need to, what we need to do is get him different colored gloves. They can color code them. No, that was Mata because I see him now. And this Ooh. time they hand it right up the middle to Woods. He gets right near the line of scrimmage, gets met heavy by a linebacker from Loving that comes up and puts a pop on him. And so that's going to make it second down. We'll call it 10. Ball spotted about the 40-yard line. Three receivers to the right. Melanson and Woods in the backfield. One out left. Here's the snap. Rolling to his right is Melanson. Looking down the field, had a man for a minute down in the corner and then just throws it away, which was a good thing to yep, do good for call. Melanson. Yeah, that just shows that he's, uh, you know, growing as a quarterback. I know a couple of years ago he might have went ahead and tried to run it and lost a yard or two. But Yeah, I got a message here from Coach Crowley. We appreciate you listening. I appreciate the information as well. And, Coach Crowley, I got to tell you, I agree with you. The uh, Cardinals head back to the line of scrimmage. Ball spotted just inside the 40. We'll call it the 39. Empty backfield now as Melanson's in the backfield. He's got three to the right, two to the left. He takes the snap, looking down the field. He's got a man open, throws it. It's caught by Thompson. Mm. Thompson trying to turn the corner. He actually ran backwards yeah. at least five yards, and then they took him down, and it's going to be a pickup of about three. He already had about three more yards. Yeah, and <laughs> he, and he was, the wrong way. <laughs> you know, Thompson's so fast. When he yeah. caught it, he was on the dead run, and he was kind of coming back toward it. And his momentum as he was trying to turn the corner just brought him a little bit back. So it's going to be fourth down. We'll call it seven. Looks like the ball spotted about the 36-yard line. Melanson in the backfield. Cardinals are going for it. Here's the snap. Looking down the field, they throw it. Got him. Got a catch in the middle. I think that's green gloves again. Look like a first down from here. I believe that's Mata. It is. Mata yep. with some great plays already early. And that's a first down. Cardinals, what a throw by Melanson. And Mata catching it between two defenders. So first and 10, looks like the ball spotted inside the 30, we'll call it the 28. Melanson in the backfield, hands it to Woods. Woods bobbing, he's weaving, he gets brought down from behind right about the line of scrimmage. Yeah, those runs hadn't produced yet, but you know, just keep on doing it. Danny Garrett, we appreciate you listening. Debbie Vance, we are, we are in your corner. We appreciate you and happy birthday, Debbie's. It's a uh, it's pretty neat deal. Debbie's Country Kitchen, an amazing place to go down and oh, yeah. eat and listen to all the Eunice uh, news. Gossip. Well, that oh, too. not gossip, that, news. That, we get that at the <laughs> we'll barbershop. I go down there and get into that. <laughs> Here's the snap to Melanson. Looking down the field, he's got some pressure coming at him. He throws it over to the right side, off the fingertips. Probably would have been out of bounds anyway. And uh, that ball was intended once again for Mata. It's going to bring up third and ten. So third down and 10 for the Cardinals. I almost saw a huddle. I don't know that I've seen <laughs> like a huddle in like, like six years. And Eunice, like a that was a mini huddle. Mini huddle, half a, <laughs> half a huddle. So Eunice heads to the line of scrimmage, third down and 10. Here's the snap, rolling to his left, looking down the field, trying to find an opening. Now Melanson's gonna tuck it, he's trying to run. He's going to get knocked out of bounds after a pickup of maybe two or three. And so that's going to be a turnover on downs, I believe. Uh, I think they already that, flipped it. That was third. So that, so that was third. Okay. Yeah, they, they, so they, they're flipping it fast over there. That, it's that uh, digital flipper that they've yep, got over there. Yep. That, that's, that's like an automatic flipper. <laughs> yeah, as soon as, as soon as the ball's down, they flip it. Boom. So Eunice going to take a timeout here with – Trying to see it. 9.13 on the clock here in quarter number one. It's a 0-0 game. Your Unirist Cardinals have the ball, and we've got a timeout. And let's talk about some sponsors right fast. Herrera's Oil Field Service, Debbie's Country Kitchen, Guns Up Services, Unis Wrecker and Rental, Redbird Gas, Lobo Trucking, NMR Pipeline LLC, Devon Energy. And remember, Devon Energy is hiring in Unis area. Redbird Garage, Cardinal Hardware, City of Eunice, Eunice Public Schools, Eunice Health Clinic, Eunice Pump and Supply, BT8 Services and Rental, and Parker Energy Services. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Without you, we wouldn't be here covering this game. 
Yeah, we definitely appreciate you. The two teams are headed back out on the field. Eunice already lined up. They've got two receivers right. Looks like one, I can't tell for sure, out to the left. And then Melanson and Woods, I believe, in the backfield. Here's the snap. Melanson looking down the field. He's got a man open over in the corner. Throws it. Touchdown. There we go. Ashton Thompson on the pass from Melanson. What a play coming out of that timeout drawn up by Coach Greg Jackson. And the coach or the Cardinals put six on the board. That's the way we do it. Eunice comes. heads out here for the extra point, getting ready for the PAT. Once again, the injured um, Woods heads out there. And, you know, we did find out we've got a backup kicker whenever Woods went out. That I game. tell you, that, that he was did a uh, really remarkable job. It was extremely impressive. Here's the snap. The ball is down. It's up. It's through. I believe it's going to be good. And it is yep. good. The Cardinals with a 7-0 lead with uh, 9 8 remaining here in quarter number one. Your Eunice Cardinals lead 7-0. All right. Let's shout out these punters again. We're going to have some every touchdown. We'll get to shout them out again. Parker Energy Service, Redbird Garage, Devon Energy, BT8 Services and Rental, Eunice Pump and Supply, NMR Pipeline, LLC, Lobo Trucking, Redbird Gas, Eunice Health Clinic, Eunice Public Schools, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, Guns Up Services, City of Eunice, Cardinal Hardware, Herrera's Oil Fill Service, Debbie's Country Kitchen, who just, the, the, the kitchen just turned 27 today. That's right. And Devon Energy is hiring, guys. Don't forget that if you're looking for something to do. And as Jimmy says, if you have a big old six foot five, 250 pound freshman, uh, come on over. We'll, We're really hiring these. <laughs> we definitely want to hire you. <laughs> so the Cardinals getting ready to go. Wood sets the ball down on the right hash. Eunice in white. Loving, as we mentioned, in the red jerseys, white pants. Eunice getting ready to kick off after the score. We're early in the first quarter. Eunice leads 7-0. to zero. Woods gets over. Getting ready to go. Here comes the kick. It's a little looper into the middle. Loving going to make the catch, try to tuck it and run. Eunice comes through, and I can't tell. The ball flew out at the end. I'm trying to see who that is. A 20? Uh, 12. Oh, the one that tackled. Yeah, I think that's 23. Luis Gomez. Gomez coming through and making a beautiful open field tackle there. Shout out to Kenny Jones. I know you're out there listening as well. We appreciate you and appreciate the support. The Cardinals on defense now after a nice open field tackle by Luis Gomez. So Loving heads to the line of scrimmage, and I got to tell you, I can't see anything about those well, numbers. Well, and it's hard enough because we're so far up here, too, that that's a big wide track. And I believe that's Caleb Rodriguez at the quarterback. He takes the snap. He's going to hand it right up the middle. I believe that's Perez. He's trying to turn the corner. Eunice closing the distance, but he's going to pick up about five yards and get the ball yep. out to about Good the 41-yard line. Yep, if you can pick up four or five yards every, every down. Yeah, that young man, I was looking at his numbers coming into the day. He's got some good numbers. He's putting up about 110 yards a game. Had some big, big games on the season. So back to the line of scrimmage is the Falcons. Ball spotted about the 41-yard line. Rodriguez back in that QB position, ready to go. Getting his team called to the line. 8.54 on the clock here in quarter number one. Man in motion. They're going to hand it to Perez going the other way, I believe. He's going to plow forward. He's going to be close to a first down. Yeah, I think he's about a yard short. Yeah, they're going to spot him about a yard short, about the 44-yard line. So the Loving Falcons do run more of a, a little bit more traditional. They do actually get in the huddle. It seems mm -hmm. like about half the teams we play now have went to where there's no uh -huh. huddles, and it's just going. Yeah. So that gives us a little more time of uh, dead air or listening to me, one yeah. or the other. I'm not sure which is better. 8.17 on the clock. Rodriguez back in the shotgun for the Falcons. Third down and one. He takes the snap. He fakes the handoff. He's going to tuck it and dive across, and he's going to have enough for the first down. That's going to get him across to about the 45, we'll call it the 45 and a half, maybe even the 46. And that'll be get first and 10, first and 10 for the Falcons. And I'm going to warn everybody right now, I got a little bit of a 
head some and sinuses going on and <laughs> so if i sniffle in this thing or cough i apologize up front i it's, didn't mean it's, to it's not me crying <laughs> it's uh, it's charlie sniffling a little sniffling we're not so, crying 750 on the clock here loving back to the line of scrimmage first and 10 rodriguez in the shotgun in the backfield kind of got that little split pistol back action going on he's looking past this time he throws it over to the right side looks like the pass was probably complete for a gain of about one. I can't tell who yeah. that is. It said it was Lujan that caught that pass. Thank you to my man Lee White. He's setting a couple of <laughs> couple of boosts over. I heard him there. He's got ties to my man Leonard Skinner White, yep, yep, the newest yep. uh, elected inductee to be into the lee county sports hall of fame lynn white congratulations shout out to you we love you leonard 709 on the clock <clears throat> quarter number one second and nine falcons with the ball they take the snap they hand it on that little jet sweep coming around the left side trying to get around the edge he can't get there there's cardinals everywhere i saw flags fly the flag looked pink, so it threw me off for a minute, but I forget it's... it's uh, Might be a little holding going like on Like a cancer yep. awareness type of deal. <laughs> that, that pink flag went yep. flying up in the air, and I was like, what was that, somebody's sock? And then I realized that's the flag today. That was the flag. For a good cause, for sure. It just threw me off for a minute. 6.54 on the clock. They're going to call holding yeah, on the Falcons. That'll scoot them back about 10. We'll replay the down, I believe. Second yep. and about... Be pushing 20? Yeah, pretty close. 19 and a half, maybe. Yeah. So loving, waste no time. They're back to the line of scrimmage, 6.50 on the clock. Three receivers wide to the right, one to the left. Rodriguez and Perez in the backfield. He takes a snap. Looking over here, he sets up the little screen. He's got some room, got some blockers. He's got a big, big, Ooh. big hole, and he's headed down the left side. He gets run down by a couple of Cardinals. Luis Gomez and Mata Ooh. save six points yep. for the Cardinals. For sure. That kid's got some wheels on him now. Big play for Loving. That was uh, Bobby Perez, I believe, and he picked up a bunch of yards. He's all the way down to about the 24-yard line. And That'll make him. it first and 10 for we, the Falcons. We had him right where we wanted him until that play. Yes, sir. <laughs> Back yeah. him up to 19, and then boom. You know, I, I've been surprised, which granted it's early in the game, I've been mm -hmm. surprised they haven't thrown the ball more. I expected right. that looking at their numbers, and we've had some problems defending the pass. Right. So here comes Loving back to the line of scrimmage, first and 10. We have had a couple There's of There's the snap. So. They hand it right up the middle. Couldn't tell for sure. Maybe Perez again. I, I couldn't tell for sure on the number. Now they're down here to my left side, and the right <laughs> side window actually looks like it was, it was cleaned, you know, recently. This yeah. left one looks like somebody... Uh, you know, like when you're a little puppy and you have a puppy and they get up on your glass and jump up and down mm, and make that. Oh, yeah. That's kind of what this Put their looks. nose all over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm dodging the little streaks here trying to figure out what, what's happening. So 5.55 on the clock. It's second down. We'll call it nine. Ball spotted about the 20, call it the 23-yard line. Rodriguez to the line. In the shotgun, takes the snap, fakes the handoff. He's looking past. He had some pressure. They had him in the backfield for just Ooh, a second. He breaks away, still on his feet down inside the Man. 15. I thought I saw the ball pop out, That's but it didn't. Be another He's first all down. the way down for another first down around the 11, wow. maybe the 12-yard line. Big play by the quarterback. Yep, we had him dead to rise. Just couldn't, couldn't finish it. Yep. Yeah, they had him... Um, Come, you know, the blitz, whoever that was, came through and just missed him about six yards deep in the backfield. He kind of put that little stop and go, mm -hmm. bob and weave on him, and, and we bobbed when he weaved, and we, it didn't work can, out. We can call him Bob Weaver. That's right. right. <laughs> so first and – it's first and ten, ball spotted just outside the 11-yard line. So they could get a first down without getting across the goal line, but it would be close. Yep. So Eunice on defense in the white, loving in the red. Rodriguez at the quarterback position takes the snap, hands it off right up the middle to Perez. He's got a big gain mm. all the way down inside the five, down to about the two-yard line. And he might have a first down on that one. Yep. That's going to be real close to a first down. See what they do. They're going to yep, drop they, the chain, so it's it. first and goal inside the two. Time for a stand here, boys. Yep. So Eunice set up on defense, loving in the huddle. They break the huddle and walk up to the line of scrimmage. 
Rodriguez in the shotgun. Got Perez over to his left. Two receivers right, one out wide to the left. 4.20 on the clock. It's Colorado time. Here's the snap. Little jet sweep fake, and then they hand it to Perez up the middle. He ducks in. He's pushing for the end zone. And they are calling second down. I haven't seen a signal from yeah, the line judge. The over line there. over there yeah, spotted it. So they're down, down inside the one yard line. The Cardinals hold them there, but they pick up a good, probably one. <laughs> It is uh, about the nose of the football away from the goal line now. 3.50 on the clock. What are you thinking? Just push it straight forward, huh? I, I'm thinking we push them straight backwards. Yeah, well, that's kind of what I'm <laughs> thinking, too. <laughs> so here they go, loving in. They're going to line up under center. First time I've seen them do this. Yeah, they're scooting over there, just going to push it right up the middle. Yep. And they're going to push and try to push. It's the old, what do they call that, the tush push. And I don't see a signal. Nope, third down. And they're going to say he didn't get in, so he's right at the line of scrimmage. It's going to make it third in about six inches. Yeah, sometimes that last yard's a little tough. Well, and the you know what what happens in the tush push now is you just start. Let's see who's been lifting weights yeah. all summer. <laughs> who can push harder than yeah. who? And there are some big old corn-fed. <laughs> Boys have been sitting down there lifting weights all summer. Mm, yep. I'm probably sure on both teams. But oh, yeah. Anyway, it uh, 2.58 on the clock here in quarter number one. The Cardinals lead 7-0, to zero, and Loving is knocking at the door, but they're going to take a little break before so they knock too hard, it. and they're going to talk <laughs> about it. So we've got a timeout on the field, 2.54 on the clock. Your Cardinals lead 7-0 to zero over the Loving Falcons. Shout out to our sponsor right quick, Parker Energy Services, Brett and Penny Parker, BTA Services and Rental, Chad Howler, Eunice Pump and Supply, Becky Nogemeyer, Brandon Matthews and crew, Eunice Health Clinic, Brian, Elmer Romero, Aaron Pascal in the game, Eunice Public Schools, Dwayne Haynes, Cynthia Sims, Rosendo, Matt Coy, Kenny Reed, Mrs. Hahn, David Gagos, and all the staff, City of Eunice, Billy Hobbs, Shannon Cummings, Cardinal Hardware, Davis and Myers family, Redbird Garage, Josh and Erica Jones, Devon Energy, Bryce Jenkins, Ryan Dean, uh, NMR Pipeline, LLC, The Bettis Family, Stacy Pop, Lobo Trucking, Redbird Gas, Mr. Bart Parker, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, John Dean and Maureen Davis, uh, Guns Up Services, Thompson Family, Devon Energy is hiring, Debbie's Country Kitchen, Miss Debbie, and Herrera's Oil Field Services. All right, so both teams are already back out on the field. They're just waiting on the ref to give them the whistle. There is the whistle, 2.54 on the clock here in quarter number one. Loving comes out in a little more of a spread set this time. They do have the quarterback back in the shotgun. Perez, the running back over to his right. Here is the, they try to get Eunice to jump, and now they're going to snap, fake the handoff. Roland Wright is the quarterback. They had him in the backfield, and then he throws an underhanded Patrick Mahomes pass as he's falling down into the end zone. (laughs) What a play by Rodriguez for Loving. He just saved him right there and put six points on the board for the Falcons. Well, they did it. That was, I mean, he. <laughs> that was the very last second when we threw that little shuffle pass because I guarantee you they, we had him in the grasp. So. Yeah, they, they had him wrapped up pretty good. He threw that ball underhanded. Yeah. And uh, it, it was a great play by Rodriguez, no yep. doubt about it. There's flags flying Uh-oh. everywhere here on the point after touchdown as Loving was getting ready to kick. Somebody moved. Oh, they, no, they called Eunice lined up probably Uh-oh. in the uh, in the neutral zone or well, that'll offsides. That would be, what, half the distance to the goal. Mm-hmm. They, see if they're still going to kick it or if they're going to go for it. Loving's going to go ahead and stick with what and, they got. Go ahead and stick with your original plan. That yep. usually works out good. A lot of times those kickers want to keep it right there where they had it. They'll just decline the penalty because they they get used to kicking it from a certain spot. That kick is up, and it looks to me like it is good, and it yep. is. So, and uh, with, uh, looks up. here, 247 remaining in quarter number one, we've got a 7-7 tie here. And you're listening to Nomark Broadcasting's coverage of Eunice Cardinal Sports. And we'll run through our sponsors right fast again. Herrera's Oil Field Service, Debbie's Country Kitchen, and uh, happy uh, 25th, 27th birthday to the kitchen. Maybe Debbie, too. I don't know. Uh, Guns Up Services, uh, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, Redbird Gas, 
Lobo Trucking, NMR Pipeline LLC, Devon Energy, Redbird Garage, Cardinal Hardware, City of Eunice, Eunice Public Schools, Eunice Health Clinic, Eunice Pump and Supply, BT8 Services and Rental, and Parker Energy Services. And we're ready to receive the ball again. Shout out to Frankie Abelos, Lacey Gardner Ramos. We appreciate you guys listening back home. We appreciate all of our listeners and watchers. Absolutely. Listen and watch and sit, so, there and sit back, kick back, and watch it on your big screen, right? Yeah. So, Loving, getting ready to kick off here. Just under three minutes to go in quarter number one. Both offenses looking pretty good here early. Both scored on their first drives. Might have a shootout on our hands here, huh? Loving, getting ready to go. Yeah, I mentioned in my... <laughs> My keys to victory that I believe the Cardinal offense is going to have to put some points on the board. Here's a kick. It's a good one. Back to, I believe that's Thompson. Thompson trying to turn Ooh. it around the right corner. He gets upended right at the 30. Come flying in on defense yep. was uh, number 18, I believe is what that said. That is Lujan, Caleb Lujan. He makes a good open field tackle. Took Thompson, his feet out from under. Thompson <laughs> tried to hop at the last minute, and Lujan hit him right above the knee and sent him end over end. So good open field tackle there. The Cardinals will have the ball first and 10. Look like they're spotting him about the 20, we'll call it the 29-yard line. Melanson in the backfield, sends Thompson in motion. He takes it, hands it right off to Woods. Woods ducks in and then pops out, still on his feet down. He's picked up about six yards. Then a gang of Falcons come fluttering in. Mm -hmm. They went brr, brr, and <laughs> threw him to the ground, but not before he picked up about seven. That is what a Falcon sounds like. I've heard S one. Something like that, huh? Something like that. Cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> All right, so the ball's now spotted about the 36-yard line. Second down, we'll call it four. Eunice heads back to the line of scrimmage. Like I said, they're kind of doing a little huddle thing that I've never seen kind them do a, before. Kind of so semi-huddle. <laughs> maybe with a few new spots or people in spots, that's uh, a good way to, mm -hmm. if, you got to, if you're not sure what you're supposed to do, this will tell you. Melanson clears the backfield. He's back there by himself, looking down the field. Roll into his right. He has some pressure. Looks down, throws it long. And it may have been intercepted. I think it probably was. And it is intercepted by the Falcons. Mm -mm. The Falcons pick it off. He tried to throw it up high to Luis Gomez. Luis Gomez, the 6'4 youngster, they threw it. And it just didn't quite get high no. enough as Loving picks that one off. And so the Loving Falcons will take over first and 10 uh. at about the 34 yard line. A minute 46 left in the first quarter. Tie ball game, 7 7. One of my other keys to victory was turnovers. Don't can't turn can't the have ball them. Over. And so I, I think that's going to be something important to watch. Loving heads to the line of scrimmage. Three receivers wide to the right, one out left. Perez and uh, Rodriguez in the backfield. Man in motion. They hand it to him on the jet sweep. He's headed to the right side. Now he's going to cut enough. back to the other side of the field. Eunice trying to bring him down. He's still on his feet, running, rumbling, and he gets knocked out of bounds down about the 46-yard line. So yeah, he went to the right, came he, back. He's pretty fast. He was <laughs> running that wheel. jet sweep to his right. Eunice had the uh, pursuit defense all headed over there at an angle, and he turned it around and came back this way. And unfortunately for the Cardinals, there was nobody back here. So another first down and 10 for Loving Falcons. So Loving with first and 10, ball spotted about the 47-yard line. They head to the line of scrimmage, three receivers wide to the right. One out here to the left. Rodriguez and Perez in the backfield for the Falcons. Rodriguez calling the play from the line of scrimmage. Takes the snap. Fakes the handoff. Throws it out to the right side. He's got a man complete out there. Eunice comes up, hits him right at the line of scrimmage, but he gets away from him and then pulls forward for about two. Forward progress, forward momentum. Going to give him about four. Wow. Yeah, that's falling forward sometimes gets you a couple extra yards. Well, and he fell way backwards. They just gave him the uh, the forward progress yeah. off the original yeah. catch. So that ball's now spotted about the 43-yard line. That's going to make it second. We'll call it a long six. Yeah. Loving heads to the line of scrimmage in that little pistol formation. 
quarterback in the shotgun, running back kind of setting behind him. Three receivers over to the left, one out wide to the right. Here's the snap. They throw it out here, quick pass to number 11. He's got some room and some blockers, and Luis Gomez comes in and knocks him out of bounds, but not before he picks up big yardage and gets another, another first down. First down. So loving with another first and 10. Ball going to be spotted about the 30, we'll call it the 33. It's actually sitting right between the 32 and 33-yard line. The clock stopped with 39 seconds left. Now it's rolling. Yeah. Yeah, the, the oh. White Hat's out there rolling his arm around saying, hey, run it, run it. They might get this next play off. They got about 28 seconds left. Oh, yeah. So they head to the line of scrimmage. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Rodriguez in the backfield, Praz over to his right. He's calling out the play, getting everybody set up. Got a man in motion. They're going to hand it to Praz right over the left side. He plows forward. They hit him again mm. right at the line of scrimmage, and then he stayed on his feet and plowed forward, and he's going to pick up a, probably two, two, maybe yards, three. Huh? Yeah, it, uh, those first contact tackles are what's getting us right now. We're a lot of times hitting them in the backfield. We're just not taking them down. So at right. the end of the first quarter, your score, Eunice 7, Loving 7. You're listening to Nomark Broadcasting's coverage of Eunice Cardinal Sports. BTH Services is a locally owned and operated family-oriented business. BTH Services and Rental is a portage on and equipment rental company. BTH Services and Rental also clears right-of-ways and right-of-way reclamation. Please call 575-964-3104. That's 575-964-3104 for all of your company needs. BTH Services and Rental is also looking for a one-ton CDL driver. Please apply at 2100 Avenue O in Eunice. BTH Services and Rental is a proud sponsor of Lee County Athletics. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Nomark Broadcasting's coverage of Eunice Cardinal Sports. I'm Jimmy Jones alongside my partner, Charlie Fairbrush, as Rescindo is off doing family things, but he's listening. Shout out, Rescindo. We appreciate listening. you. Probably kick back on that recliner watching it on the big screen. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah, there's no telling with old Rescindo. <laughs> he's probably eating something good. Shout out to yeah. Ryan Montanez. And I got a message here from Lacey Gardner-Ramos saying for you to check your messages, Charlie, when you get a chance. Oh, okay. So just FYI, loving with the football, second and eight. Or maybe a long seven. Here's the snap, looking right over toward these three receivers, and he throws it out here. He's got a man just sitting there in the zone. He, they hit him, and he drags them ahead for another yeah. five, six yards, and then That'll he makes a motion and points toward a first down. And so it'll be first and 10 all the way down to about the 15-yard line. So Loving knocking at the door again, looking to take the lead here against the Cardinals. So Loving in that huddle, come out of the huddle and sending everybody their way. Two receivers lined up out here wide to the right, one all the way to the sideline, the other one headed almost all the way over to the left sideline. They've got two right, two left now. Pistol back formation. Rodriguez takes a snap. He's looking past the whole way. He throws a little screen out to that left side. Eunice trying to get to him. They do. He pushes forward, though, and he's going to pick up, I would call it another five. Oh, yeah, maybe six. So that's going to make it second yeah, down, and we'll call it five. five. So look, the board showing him with a four-yard pickup. So second down, and we'll call it six. Looks like they're spotting it right near the 10-yard uh, line, maybe the 11. We'll call it the 11. Looks like it's sitting on that little hash over yeah. there. Ball spotted on the left hash. Loving's got three wide to the right this time, one out to the left. Rodriguez in the backfield. Perez over to his right. Calling out the play. Tries to get Eunice to jump. Now he's rolling right, looking, looking. He's still looking. He throws it into the end zone. The ball gets deflected. 
Great defensive play there yep. by Ashton Thompson, and Luis Gomez comes in trying to get his 6'4 frame <laughs> with that 7-foot arm span, trying to get underneath yeah. that one and pick it off the grass and just couldn't quite get to it. That would have been a shot in the arm for the Cardinals. Right huge, there. huge. Yeah. And if, if, you know, if a frog had wings, he wouldn't bump his butt when he jumps. Mm -hmm. But if, if he could have caught that on the fly, it was nothing but green grass, and he's a speedster as well. As my favorite teacher, Mr. Goodman, used to say, if, yeah. candy, if, if some butts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. So three <laughs> to the right, one to the left. Rodriguez and Perez in the backfield. Here's the snap. They're going to hand it right up the middle to Perez. He's got a little room trying to break over the five, and he gets taken down right about the five-yard line. Close to the first down. That's going to be right at it. Let's see where the spot is, if it's a right foot spot or a left foot spot. Looks like they're calling fourth down inches. <laughs> wow. Looks like. Yeah. So fourth down and less than a foot. And so Loving going to have to go here. Yeah, that's about your only option right here at this point. They better kick a field goal because they're close enough for that. Yeah, they've left the offense on the field, sending two receivers wide to the right. Looks like two over to the left. One way over to the left. Yeah. <laughs> they've got uh, Perez and uh, Rodriguez in the backfield. They scoot one of those receivers in, which leads me to believe he's going to run either an out pattern Oh, the White Hat's giving the signal on the clock. So here we go. See what happens. They fake. Now they snap. They're going to fake it up the middle, and now the quarterback's going to keep it. He's got a big gap, right in. and he's in for six. A touchdown run of about six yards by Caleb Rodriguez. So now the uh, Falcons lead 13-7. to seven. They get ready to line up for that extra point, point after. Yep. And uh, Lacey Gardner, I don't have any messages. You might have sent it to that other Charlie or something. I don't know. Uh, it was supposed to be from uh, Mike, I believe. Uh -huh. All right. You might have sent it to my wife over there. All right. So, Loving getting ready to go here. 929 on the clock. The PAT is up. Looks good. And they, it is good. <clears throat> and so, that's going to make it 14 to 7. The Falcons take the lead here. All right. Shout out to our sponsor right fast. The Parker Energy Services, BT8 Services and Rental, Eunice Pump and Supply, Eunice Health Clinic, Eunice Public Schools, City of Eunice, Cardinal Hardware, Redbird Garage, Devon Energy, NMR Pipeline, LLC, Lobo Trucking, Redbird Gas, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, Guns Up Services, Debbie's Country Kitchen, Herrera's Oil Field Service, and remember that Devon Energy is hiring in the Eunice area if you're looking for a new J-O-B. Yep, yep, for sure. Loving gets back ready to kick off again, give the Cardinals our next opportunity. Getting tons and tons of messages about the actions going on, but... Uh, like I said, just right now, trying to keep it on the game. 14 to 7, 9.29 remaining here in the first half. Loving just scored, makes it 14 to 7, getting ready to kick off to the Cardinals. The Cardinals scored their first series of downs, and then the next time, they uh, an interception. So that looks like Thompson that has it in the middle. He breaks it up through the middle, then pops out to the right side. Thompson trying to turn the corner. He gets around the corner for a minute. Now he bobs and weaves. He's still on his feet all the way down to around the 40-yard line. Wow, that was a nice run back. Inside the 40, they're going to mark him all the way down to the 38. He must have ran 150 <laughs> yards to get that 40 or He'll so. 40. Thompson's little feet were going 100 miles an hour. A great run by Thompson. 9.17 remaining here in the first half. Eunice trails 14 to seven to the Loving Falcons, the number one team in 2A versus the number six team in 2A. Eunice heads back to the line of scrimmage. Two receivers to the left and two to the right. Melanson and Woods in the backfield. He pops up, throws it over to Gomez. Gomez makes the catch, bobbing, weaving. He ducks ahead. He's gonna pick up at least three, maybe four, depending on where they spot him. Yeah, the forward progress should be about three or four yards. Yeah, I say they give him three, so he's yep. inside. We'll make it about the 36-yard line. That'll make it second down. We'll call it seven. 
Eunice heads back to the line of scrimmage. Three receivers this time to my side, which is the left. One out to the right. Melanson takes the snap, fakes the handoff. No, he hands off to Woods, busts up the middle, and he's going to be close to a first down depending on the spot. Yeah, like a spot and then, well, I think you got it. It's really, really close. I would say he might oh, be oh. a half of no, well, that, they, they, <laughs> yeah, that spot is a little different. The, but anyway, they're moving the that'll back chain. It, yeah, that'll <laughs> make it third and one. Eight twenty-six wow. remaining. Ball spotted right at the thirty. The chain gang thought they were moving. They, he, he was coming on. So here's the snap. They fake it to uh, Woods, and then Melanson oh. going to duck and go. Or is that Thompson? They're running that Razorback <laughs> offense. Thompson all the way down inside the 10, inside the 5. He's going to be close to the goal line. There's not even a – oh, this one over here is down there. He's marking him inside the 1. Man, he faked me out. I'm sitting there covering the tackle back in the backfield. <laughs> and I said that was Thompson. I think it was Thompson, but Thompson's way back here. So I don't know who that yeah, was. Yeah, I think I was on Thompson. He got tackled back there, but he didn't have the ball. <laughs> like I said, it's a little hazy through here so my yeah. apologies 14 to 7 Eunice back to the line of scrimmage first and goal Melanson throws it floats oh. it over into the corner Cardinals uh. wanting a pass interference I don't I don't think there's a call I couldn't tell I couldn't nah, see that close I think he just got it a little too high 759 on the clock here in the first half Eunice trails 14 to 7 and they're right there I mean yeah, it's first and... Inches. Maybe a yard, maybe a yard. It's real close. Yeah, I, I, I can't even tell for sure. I'm, I'm squinting, and it ain't doing me any good. <laughs> Two receivers wide to the right, one to the left. They move Melanson up under center. He's going to take the snap, hands it to Woods. Woods dives through. And they're calling it third down. Oh, and they spot him, yeah, so he did not get in. That's going to make it third. Looked like there was a little... Uh, Shift. It, was, it wasn't real good yep. with the handoff up under center. We don't do that much, so when we have to, it don't always look the smoothest. Oh, third down now. So it should be third and about one. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Melanson in the backfield. Takes the snap. Looking, he's got pressure coming at him. He throws it over to the right side. Throw it away. Trying to get it to the uh, out pattern over by Gomez. Couldn't get it there as he had people all over him. And that's going to make it, I think, fourth, right? Yeah, it should be fourth. They're saying third, but we'll I'll, take third. I'll take a third. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a third, but I think it's fourth. What is the... Uh, well, it says uh, It says third, third too, so, so maybe we'll, maybe it's me. I, I could I be losing I think I might have it. I, I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly Third fine. down and one. They get it to Melanson. He's looking down the field. He's going to tuck and run, and he's, he's easily in. in there. And that is Melanson who puts six points on the board on the one-yard touchdown run by Melanson. So we didn't have to worry about whether it was a third or fourth. We just went on in and scored. That's the way we do it. Getting ready for that point after. Mr. Woods is back there ready to rock and roll. So Eunice sets up for the point after touchdown. Woods ready. Here's the snap. It's down. It's up. Oh, oh and it hits the goal post. It hits one of the uprights and is no good. So that's going to make the score 13 Eunice. 14 loving Eunice trails by one. I have to say that's probably one of the first ones he's missed all season. I concur. All right, let me run through our sponsors again right quick, folks. The Rares Oil Field Service, Debbie's Country Kitchen, happy 27th anniversary. Birthday or whatever we call it. Uh, Devon Energy, and they are hiring in the Eunice area. Guns Up Services, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, Redbird Gas, Lobo Trucking, NMR Popline LLC, Redbird Garage, Cardinal Hardware, the City of Eunice, Eunice Public Schools, Eunice Health Clinic, Eunice Pump and Supply, BTH Services and Rental, and Parker Energy Services. Shout out to some folks that are watching. Randy Gladden, we appreciate you. JT Terry, saw some pictures of you out fishing. I don't know if that's <laughs> recent or old, but I was like, what the heck? My man's out fishing without me. So, uh, anyway, uh, shout out to you folks. We appreciate you listening. Best sponsors in the business, best listeners in the business. We just got it all going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're about to kick it off. 
So Eunice getting ready to kick off. 7.23 remaining in the first half. It's been a long first half, it seems like <laughs> yeah. to me. Eunice setting up, ready to kick off. Woods got the ball on the left hash. Eunice in the white, loving with the red jerseys. Here's the kick. It's a deep one. Loving going to pick it up back about the 20. Bobbing, weaving, trying to find some space. Now they break it out to the right side. Taken down there by the Cardinals right around the 37, maybe the 38-yard line. Yeah, about the 38, I think, is where he spotted it. And that's where they take over. So Eunice be back on the defensive side. Defense been out here a lot this half. First and 10, ball spotted right at the 38. They, they've got the tip of the ball touching the 38-yard line. So first and 10, Loving. Loving slowly goes up to the line of scrimmage. Two receivers to the right, one out left. Also got kind of a little slot back over on that left side. So so. I just got some information on that third and fourth down dilemma. Here's the snap. They hand it right up the middle. That's Perez. He's got a big hole, and mm. he's all the way out to around the 45. They said what? So uh, Elizabeth Boone told me that we did get the pass interference call. That's why it was third and not fourth down. Gotcha. And that, and that <laughs> would the make flags sense. The pink, and we probably couldn't see it. And yeah, you're I, exactly I, right. <laughs> I guarantee you I can't see down there for sure. I can barely see the field, but then those flags are pink and everything else out there is pink. I, I got a message them. while I go from the guy that says, well, tell Charlie <laughs> to watch the camera and quit looking at through the window because the camera can <laughs> see good on that screen. So, second down, uh, we'll call it three. Ball spotted at the 45. Loving heads to the line of scrimmage. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Rodriguez takes the snap, hands it to Bobby Perez right up the middle. He had a big gain. He's going to be across the first down just short of midfield. You're going to spot him about the 49-yard line. And the problem is I got my readers on to watch the camera, so if I try to look up, <laughs> I can't see the field. So I'll just stick to watching the camera like the listener advised. We appreciate Gail Fuller watching from Brazil, sending me messages. We appreciate you guys. And Kevin Jones, the, not my Kevin Jones family, but the other Kevin Jones, other we appreciate you. Well, which one is the original? We need to ask Rosendo. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, the, we'd have to ask Rosendo. <laughs> Here goes Loving back to the line of scrimmage. First and 10, ball spotted about the 49. They're going to fake the handoff. They're throwing that little wheel route down the left side. Eunice closes the distance. And I think that was Woods that came in and slapped the ball away there at the end. I'd rather really have him grab the ball and run it all the way back at the end. But a slap is okay, too. Yeah, kind of scary back there when uh, you have those long passes like that. You mess around and don't bat one down and big, big play. So, oh, anyway. It's, and, and it's Liz, boom, not Elizabeth. Oh. Thank you for the correction. So second down and 10, ball spotted at the 49, 606 on the clock. 14 to 13 is the score. Loving still trying to rotate some people off the field. All right, they've got them all off. Look like they're ready now. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Rodriguez in the backfield with Perez. He takes the snap, fakes the handoff, looking long down that left side. Now he's gonna cut, throws it back over here to the right side. Thompson there quick. That forward progress is going to take him close to a first yep. down. They're going to mark Maybe him at the 40, it. and that'll be a first down. Another Falcon first down. And there's five minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. Rodney Tinley, Ruben Acosta watching from the Elk Woods. We envy you. Yes. Other than you might be a little cold, I guess if you got a good <laughs> fire, that's a good thing. Good fire and a jacket or two, maybe some long johns. Yep. Yep. We appreciate you all listening for sure. 14 to 13 is your score. Eunice trails by one against Loving. We've had troubles. In fact, I don't think we've had a stop or a turnover against the Falcons yet. This but is their third third time with the ball. Here's the snap. They hand it right up the middle. Perez has a big hole. He's all yeah. the way down across the 35, and that young man runs hard. He's kind of running rough shot over our line there. Yeah, he comes through, and he plows ahead, and he's running like he means business. Got a he, good seven yards. I yeah, think. he's all the way down to the 31, 2, 3 yard line, the 33 yard line deep into Eunice territory as the Falcons are driving again. Five minutes left in the half. Second and three. 
Loving has two wide to the right, two wide to the left. Perez and Rodriguez in the backfield for the Falcons. Now we have a flag that just flew over here on the right side. It's pink, so that throws me flag. off. And All they call oh, lined call up, I guess, in the Eunice zone on <laughs> Eunice because mm. we hadn't even – everybody so got be, still yet. But That'll be another first down for the Loving Falcons. Yeah, so a first down Falcons on the Eunice penalty. And that's going to set the ball up about the 28-yard line. Ball will be spotted on the right hash, first and 10. Eunice, or Loving, I'm sorry, heads back to the line of scrimmage. One wide receiver to the right, three over there on the left. Yeah, I get a little confusing because uh, Loving is wearing a red <laughs> and Eunice is wearing a white. <laughs> they try to get Eunice to jump. Now they take the snap. Looking out to that left side, they throw it over toward the oh. end zone, and Gomez went ball. up and tipped it. The crazy thing is Woods had already cut on the ball, uh -huh. and he's looking at Gomez like, going, man. you just messed up my interception. That because was my pick six, bro. <laughs> yeah, Woods <laughs> broke on the ball when the ball was passed, and yeah. he was between the uh, receiver and the quarterback, so it, the pass was going straight to our player, <laughs> and uh, Gomez comes in with that long 6'4 frame, stretches out one of them seven-foot wings he's got, and slaps the ball away. Away. I'll slap that away. Oops, sorry, buddy. <laughs> so 421 now on the clock. It's going to be second and 10 after the incompletion there. Ball spotted at the 33-yard line, and the Falcons want to talk about it. We've got a timeout on I'll the field. Loving will take a timeout. That's... Timeout. We'll run down these sponsors again. We've got plenty of timeouts and, and breaks here. Parker Energy Service, BT8 Services and Rental, Eunice Pump and Supply, Eunice Health Clinic, Redbird Garage, Devon Energy, NMR Pipeline, LLC, Lobo Trucking, Redbird Gas, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, Guns Up Services, Eunice Public Schools, City of Eunice, Cardinal Hardware, Herrera's Oilfield Service, Debbie's Country Kitchen, is now 27 years old. And I can say I've probably been eating there the whole 27 years, here and there, a time or two. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Devon Energy is hiring in the Unis area. Don't forget. You know, there's there's a lot of people out there, Charlie, like people like what I consider you and I, people that are, are Unis Cardinals true and true, through and yep. through, um, that, that do things like eat at Debbie's and oh, yeah. live there, work there, shop there, do our thing there. And, and, and those people are, are definitely appreciated. And uh, those businesses there like Debbie's and, and whatnot, they, they appreciate those folks as well. So, yeah. Debbie, we appreciate you. We appreciate all those business owners that work hard to keep those doors open. And those businesses are the ones paying the big taxes yeah. Oh, yeah. That, uh, that do things for our city, our community, our school. 421 on the clock. 14-13 is the score. Loving with the ball. They hand it straight up the middle to Perez. He's got a head of steam. He's moving forward. He's going to be close to another first down. Yeah, real close. He's all the way down inside the 20 yard line. Looks like they're going to spot him about the 18, and yep, Loving moving, is on moving the drive the again. Oh, man, I, I'm being told that the uh, Jenny Woodell says the Pascals and the Woodells are watching the game celebrating Aaron's 37th birthday. Woo! Happy birthday, Happy Aaron. Birthday. We appreciate you folks. Those are some Eunice oh, yeah. Cardinals for sure. Yeah, you're with it. Loving heads back to the line of scrimmage, 350 on the clock. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Rodriguez in the backfield has a man in motion. They run that little jet sweep over to the left side. Eunice trying to string him out, and they, yeah, do. they do. A great tackle there by. Probably lost a yard or two on that one. Man, I can't see that number. I'm squinting. I'm struggling. Well, the not only the windows, but Is it's, that 10? I, I think that's High and Castro yeah. that come up and made that tackle. Right crazy thing is if they were set up this way he made the tackle from the opposite side of the field yeah now, now i didn't see for sure where he was at while ago but this he's over here now so loving heads back to the line of scrimmage after about a three yard loss ball spotted about the 21 yard line second down we'll call it 13 three receivers to the right one out to the left rodriguez and perez in the backfield for the falcons loving getting ready Trying to reset their play. 
They like to try to do that yep. draw. Almost, they take the almost, snap, almost, looking almost. over to the right side. Has a man open in the back. Doesn't throw it. Now he's going to tuck, trying to tuck and run. He gets slung around, but he stays wow. on his feet. And then a host of Cardinals <laughs> come in from the backside and clean him up. He might have put a little bit of oil on him or something. He's yeah. slippery. That boy's yep. slippery. He can get around. Man, that, uh, that he did a lot of running right there, but he uh, ended up picking up about, uh, we'll call it five yards. Yep because they were back about three to four, and now they're up. So it's going to be third down. We'll call it nine. Ball looks like it's going to be spotted about the 16-yard line. I think that's the 16. Yes. I don't realize how old I'm getting to. I try to start <laughs> looking out there and reading people's numbers and seeing what yard line they're in. All right, so here we go. Two receivers to the right, two out to the left. Rodriguez and Perez in the backfield for Loving. Loving knocking at the door again. They got a man in motion. They're going to hand it straight up the middle. They had him four yards deep yeah. in the backfield. That was Castro. Flags come flying in at the end as he pushes forward almost to the first down on the cutback. I'm not sure what the flag was. High and Castro touched him at least a yard, maybe two yards deep in the backfield, and he just kind of slung him off. The Loving coach throwing his hands in the air. He's not liking the call. Oh, they're going to call holding? It was, was that... Oh, no, face mask. Okay. I thought that signal was holding at first. I was like, how do you call holding on the defense on a run? But anyway, <laughs> it looks like the they're distance. signaling a face mask. So that'll be a first, first down, down and a half the distance. So they're all the way mm. down to about the five-yard line. Well, it might be the only way to get him down. <laughs> Boy, he was, he was bouncing off them tacklers. Yeah, that's definitely a how big old boy are you. He's, big he's, old boy. <laughs> he's definitely a tough one. So Loving heads back to the line of scrimmage. 140 on the clock. Loving leads 14 to 13. It's first and goal. Ball spotted right at the five. Loving set up. They're ready. Eunice on defense in the white, trying to keep Loving from scoring here. Man in motion. They fake the jet sweep, hand it straight up the middle, driving his press. He's still on his feet, still driving, yeah. still no whistle. Man, that was a long time yeah, between I mean, the, the stand-up and the whistle yeah. finally coming in. They're giving him plenty of opportunity to... Yeah, I, I always worry about kids getting, getting hurt, hurt, no matter yeah. which team you're, you're on there. You, you stand up, and then people come running in and hitting you in the knees and the legs. That's the back and the yeah, ribs. And, that's yeah, that's where you get, get things injured. Always worries me, no matter the team, when they let them stand up yeah. for that long. Yeah, you got to get on that whistle. When that, when that motion stops, time to blow it. Second and four, just inside the five. Second and goal, just inside the five at about the four, hence, huh? All right, so loving at the line of scrimmage. Pistol back formation. Rodriguez tries to get Eunice to jump, then fakes the handoff, throws it out to the left side. He had a man there. The guy stretched Ooh, out. The pass was a little it. out of his reach. He tried to stretch out and get it, couldn't bring it in. So it looks know. like uh, Jowl leading against Texaco 13-7 to right now. Mm. They're in the second quarter of the – Panthers ahead of the Texaco Wolverines here in the second quarter. Are they playing in jail tonight? Or? I, yes, sir. I believe okay. so. The YFL football games will be in Eunice tomorrow. Thank you to Sean Roach for sending me that. You'll have flag football. You'll have tackle football. It's in that Eunice place, or Jowl? They told, me, they told us Jowl. I, I just got a message right now from them okay. saying it is in Eunice. <laughs> so I don't know why any Eunice guy would be sending me a message saying yeah, it's in yeah. Jowl. You know what we say about Jowl. Up here. <laughs> There's a handoff right up the middle, sending him over to that left side, plowing, pushing, trying to get there. And, and he's Eunice, short. Eunice holds him up, but he picks up a – a yard or two was that fourth or is nah, that it's fourth. They, they flipped yeah, it okay they just flipped it. i tell you man they're quick with that <laughs> sucker punch, sometimes they punch it quick yeah so fourth down and go and they're gonna take a little time out and so we've got a timeout on the field seconds left it's gonna be fourth down and we'll call it two and a half maybe three looks like they're at about that uh the little uh, uh conversion pat spot 14 to 13 is the score, 22 seconds left. I've got a couple of updates on scores. We haven't talked about much of this stuff lately. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Got a message earlier from, uh, I believe it was from JT Terry telling me that Artesia was up big on Goddard, 20 to nothing. That was a little bit earlier. Just trying to look at some of these others. Of course, we've got the message just a while ago saying that, uh, that Jow is up on Texaco 
midway through the second quarter was the last update. So, uh, you know, that, that's a big game right there. That, that could really throw a, an interesting monkey wrench in the whole thing, no matter the outcome here. Yeah. So Loving heads about back out onto the field. They're on offense here, trying to score 14 to 13 as they lead by one. It's fourth down and about three, fourth and goal. 22 seconds remaining in the half. This is the probably the, well, definitely the biggest play of the game so far. So three far. receivers to the right, one out to the left. Perez and Rodriguez in the backfield for the Falcons. I guarantee you're going to try to make them jump. Here's the snap. Rolling to his right, looking into the back of the end zone, trying to find somebody to throw it to. He floats it in. I don't even know where the ball went. It's, uh, it's out of there, so wherever. it's an incomplete pass. There was like, so, I bet there was nine guys all right there within yeah. like four yards of that <laughs> ball. I, I lost it completely. So the Cardinals are going to take over on downs with 15 seconds remaining here in the first half. Your Cardinals avoid, uh, they, they dodge a blow right yep, there. Big, big, big play one. for the Cardinals. And keep in mind, you know, the Falcons get the ball in the second half, start the second half, so... That, yep. was, that was a big stop for Eunice. And what do you think? Sean just sent me a message saying next week is Jal. This week okay, is Eunice okay. with the U Sports. I know they were looking for a place to do it because it was supposed to be in uh, Lovington this week, and they couldn't do it for some reason. Hmm. So Eunice heads to the line of scrimmage. 15 seconds remaining here in the first half. Eunice spread out. They've got people everywhere. And they take there, the kind of snap. Prevent. Woods, they hand it to Woods. He's got a big hole. He's headed up. He breaks around the left side of the 20, the 25, 30, 35, the 40, the 45, and then flags come flying in. I guarantee it's going to be an illegal yep. block right yep. here at the end that, that didn't need to happen because Didn't. we I mean right, right there, there. we just, were going to have a shot at chunking it into the end zone yeah. at the end and that's probably going to bring it way back back us on up yeah yeah they're pointing toward Eunice it was just a real late either a, a hold or a block in the back they're going to call a hold he, he started to point the wrong way but then he got it right <laughs> he almost looked like he was doing one of those ballet dances where they lean yeah. one way and lean the other way well, and we'll stand take, up we'll, on one leg and we'll take it if it'll go the other way <laughs> <laughs> we won't complain so they're going to scoot the Cardinals back. Six seconds remaining. Well, you know, it's not unheard of to throw a pass and run it all the way back. I see uh, Loving is in kind of a prevent. They got, they, got some, they got their players way back. So the Cardinals, after they march that off, it's from the spot. So that marches them back to about the 35. Not, not a huge penalty, but that's the difference yeah. in probably 20 yards. Gonna and Eunice is going to take a timeout here with six seconds on the clock. We'll keep it here and talk about some sponsors. I'm going to shout out to a few of these folks, people like Parker Energy. Um, you know, Brett and Penny Parker, just great people, salt of the earth people, my neighbors, and um, man, just always involved in anything Eunice. BTH yep. Services and Rental, Chad Howler, he's another one of those that, that's that way. I mean, as you look down this list, Eunice Pump and Supply, Becky Noglemeyer, Brandon Matthews, that crew, they do so much for the community, U Sports. Now, it don't matter. Quiz Bowl, Youth Advisory Council, they're always giving, they're always helping. The Health Clinic, Brian, Elma, Aaron, Candida, that group down there, they keep us healthy. Yep. You know, and I mean, when I got to sit here beside Charlie hacking and yeah, sneezing the gotta, whole time, I got to know a, those people down at the Health Clinic <laughs> are going to take care of me. The Eunice Public Schools, people like Resendo up there taking care of business. We appreciate you. The City of Eunice, Billy Hobbs and Shannon Cummins, Cardinal Hardware, the Davis and the Myers family, great people. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Eunice back to the line of scrimmage. Ball spotted up, we'll call it the 35-yard line. Melanson takes the snap, looking down the field, throws it across the field. Oh, and they try a little trickery. Uh -oh. The ball ends up on the floor. The Falcons pick it up. Eunice was trying to get a little yeah, fancy. They threw it to fancy, Thompson in the middle. <laughs> he had Mata going to run a little pitch out beside him. He, he got it, thought. but they hit him. The ball goes free. At the end of the first half, your score, Eunice 13, Loving Falcons 14. So. We're going to keep it here really quick because I want to do my, uh, my normal. We didn't get to do it last week. Right. We're going to talk about our player of the game. Uh, before our, not our player of the game, I'm sorry, our, our Unice Spotlight Employee of the Week, I was getting messages here saying that Texaco is now up 14 to 13. So 
quite a back and forth going on between Texaco and JAL. This week's school spotlight employee goes to a young lady that literally, literally works her tail off and always does it with a positive smile. She makes sure everything is up to the standards that Eunice people expect and even then some. She works hard each and every day. Ever since I've started doing these Eunice school spotlight or employee spotlights, I've started getting text messages, private messages, messages on Facebook recommending employees. Without a doubt, I have received more messages recommending this young lady than all the others put together. Everyone who I've spoken with has nothing but positive things to say about this lady. A few of the words and phrases that were sent to me were things like hardworking, dedicated, driven, friendly, always works with a smile, always goes above and beyond, will help anyone in need, and many, many others. This, white, this, week's, um, this week's spotlight goes to another very positive person, a true cardinal spirit, a hardworking, <laughs> blue-collared Eunice cardinal. That is what the Eunice community is built upon, the foundation of our community. I had gotten a few other messages after I had uh, put my notes together on this. I wanted to flip back over to them. Uh, one of the people that sent me a message that says, uh, she's such a hard worker, keeps the school clean, smelling fresh, always with a smile on her face. Often she's giving students hugs, giving them things that they need that they forgot. Um, she's never, never do you have to ask her to do something because she's already got it done before you can even think about it. She cares about our schools. She cares about the appearance of our school. She cares about our kids. She makes sure everything's clean and safe. She is the best worker and does such an amazing job. Tonight's Eunice Public Schools employee spotlight goes to Medi Jordan Elementary's custodian, Marisol Duran. Marisol Duran, congratulations. Congratulations, Marisol. Congratulations. You are amazing. Our school and our town are great because of people like you. Great people, hardworking people who have a positive attitude. People like Marisol are truly the backbone of a great community. Marisol mm -hmm. Duran. You are this week's Eunice, or Eunice Schools Spotlight Employee, brought to you by Jimmy and Erica Jones and Cold Brew. Congratulations. We appreciate you. We'll have you a gift certificate and get you a drink on us. We appreciate you. Marisol Duran, you are this week's School Spotlight, or School Employee Spotlight. Thank you very much for what you do. Nice. Well deserved. Yeah, some, some hard-working people out there, and, and uh, they just always do such a great job. Yeah, yeah and, then, and then you talk about our sponsors. You know, they. Uh, I think it was last week they was uh, introducing some of the sponsors for the uh, Booster Club, and it's some of the same sponsors that do our, you know, sponsor us. Absolutely. And they do a lot of stuff for the city. I mean, especially the ones that are in units. You know, the Parker Energies, the, you know, the – Yep. All, all the ones in Eunice. Ryan Montanez just sent me an update on the Hobbs score. Hobbs 34, Las Cruces, Oregon Mountain 3. Wow. It's a pretty pretty big uh, big deal yeah. there for them. So that is uh, basically that's my little halftime spiel that I had here. We're going to send it over for a word from our sponsors. We'll come back on. It looks like there's about 11 minutes, 20 seconds on the clock. We'll come back on a couple of minutes before to discuss the first half, discuss some other issues, and we'll be ready to get going. You're listening to No Mark Broadcasting's coverage of Eunice Cardinal Sports, where your score here in Loving, the Eunice Cardinals 13, the Loving Falcons 14. BTH Services is a locally owned and operated family-oriented business. BTH Services and Rental is a portage on and equipment rental company. BTH Services and Rental also clears right-of-ways and right-of-way reclamation. Please call 575-964-3104. That's 575-964-3104 for all of your company needs. BTH Services and Rental is also looking for a one-ton CDL driver. Please apply at 2100 Avenue O in Eunice. BTH Services and Rental is a proud sponsor of Lee County Athletics.
Eunice has a friendly small town atmosphere, great schools and churches, and a low cost of living. The entire Devon Energy is proud to support Eunice High School athletic programs. By partnering with Eunice, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills are youthful used to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Cardinals! The Eunice Clinic is proud to support the Eunice Cardinals. Go Cardinals! You're the pride of Eunice. The Eunice Health Clinic offers many of the same basic services that many local physicians provide. They specialize in well sick care for all ages, well women's exams, physicals, health education, lab tests, and diagnostic studies. They're proud supporters of athletic and academic events. The Eunice Health Clinic is proud to back the Cardinals. Go Cards! Eunice Schools are excited to have students and staff back on campus and involved in another successful school term. It's been an eventful year and the Eunice Schools are ready for whatever comes their way. Eunice Public Schools provide high quality educational experiences in a safe environment. The entire Eunice community is very involved with all levels NMR of sports Pipeline and academics. NMR Pipeline is academics. a highly qualified, Eunice, dedicated company. Eunice, a friendly small town with a wonderful with management community and, and amenities. It's provided over 45 years of service in pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletes athletics and academics. Parker Energy Services has been servicing the community for over 17 years. They offer water hauling, dirt work, and disposable services. Dispatchers and sales staff are available anytime, and office staff is available from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., Monday through Friday. Parker Energy aims to satisfy their customers and give their employees great job opportunities. Parker Energy is family-owned and operated, big enough to meet your needs and small enough to offer excellent and personalized services. Consider Parker Energy support services for all of your support needs. Needs. Visit them today at 2350 Avenue O. Redbird Garage Eunice. is your hometown local mechanic shop specializing in minor and Redbird Garage is your hometown local mechanic shop specializing in minor and major repairs from oil changes, car washes, brake work, AC repair, and so much more. For more information, call three. Redbird Garage is your hometown local mechanic shop specializing in minor and major repairs from oil changes, car washes, brake work, AC repair, and so much more. For more information, call 394-8828. Call 394-8828. Or swing by Redbird Garage at 1800 North Main Street in Eunice and meet the new owners, Josh and Erica Jones. Redbird Garage is your hometown mechanic shop committed to always doing what's right for you and your vehicle. Bart Parker, owner of Redbird LP Gas Company, and his employees are proud of their Eunice Cardinals. Bart, class of 1971, state champions of both basketball and baseball, support the kids with their academics and athletics. They realize that balancing both is challenging and appreciate their determination. Redbird knows the Eunice Cardinals have worked really hard to get where they're at, and they are cheering them on all the way. Bart and his crew say, Go Eunice Cardinals! Eunice has a friendly small town atmosphere, great schools and churches, and a low cost of living. The entire community is very involved with all levels of sports and academics. The Eunice Department of Motor Vehicles new office hours are Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. No testing on Friday. Eunice, a friendly small town with a wonderful community and amenities.
Devon Energy is proud to support Eunice High School athletic programs. By partnering with Eunice, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills our youth will use to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Cardinals! All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Nomark Broadcasting's coverage of Eunice Cardinal Sports. I'm Jimmy Jones, alongside my partner tonight, Charlie Fairbrush. Welcome, Charlie. Thank you, thank you. We are here at the halftime as the, there's about three minutes, 40 seconds remaining on the halftime clock. The officials are just walking back out onto the field. 14 to 13 is your score, the Cardinals trail. The latest update I got from uh, JAL and Texaco is that JAL is now trailing by one over there. So you've got a shootout going over there as well and so uh, anyway uh, we we recognized Marisol Vaughn I, I said Duran huh I don't know why I did that hold on let me let me look here <laughs> get it right man my, my, my wife just sent me a message and Marisol Duran I I I may have said the wrong I hope I didn't Marisol Duran so anyway uh, we recognized 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 I'm all we recognize he's really not drinking. He just drank some water. I'm pretty sure my wife didn't spike that water. Yeah, and, and you folks at home don't realize <laughs> this little booth that we're in is hot today. Yeah. And uh, the, the last time I was here, we froze. We had icicles hanging off Man, of our eyebrows. I was in a jacket with like a beanie pulled over my yeah. head with trying to hear my, my things. It's hot in here today, and I it's wore long warm. sleeves. I've got a sweater on. i got pants on, thick socks. i got my jacket here beside me. I don't have it on. I'm sweating. <laughs> so uh, our windows get a little foggy. I mean, people outside are looking up there going, what are Charlie and Jimmy doing in that little booth because it's <laughs> all fogging up. up or... But uh, anyway, we're just up here having a good time talking about uh, some Eunice Cardinal football. I, um, you know, I, I, I've, I've jumped back and forth whether I was going to mention anything, but I am going to say something. I've, I've got a few things that I want to say about the incident that I'm sure we are all aware of. First of all, uh, I don't condone the situation, the behavior, whatever. No. I, 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 that, that is definitely not my point. I wanted to speak a little, though, about the history between Eunice and Jal. This rivalry historically is one of the most fierce rivalries in New Mexico oh, yeah. high school sports. A lot of people don't understand that. If you've never lived it, you don't understand it. I don't care what you say. Oh, well, this and that. If you've never lived it, you don't understand it. These are... Um, two blue-collar towns which sit right in the middle of what some say should be West Texas in the Permian Basin. It's oil country, 25, 30 miles apart. I'm not sure if any of you have ever worked in the oil fields, but there's some, there's some sports trash talk that happens out in the Permian Basin each and every day. There's profanity every day. I, I've heard the saying, that person cusses like a sailor. Well, <laughs> in my hometown, we say guys cuss like a welder or a pulling unit hand yeah. or a pumper. Uh, it, it just is what it is. It, it's not Mayberry out there in, in the oil country. It's not Santa Fe. Uh, some people call us oil field trash, but the reality of the matter is it's hard working blue collar people and I disagree when when I hear people say oh that's oil filled trash we do talk some trash we talk a lot of it but we are good hard working people sometimes a little foul mouthed sometimes a little loud but good people nonetheless and I feel the same way about about these kids involved in this situation these parents down there raise good kids good hard working oh, yeah. kids Eunice and Jow are great communities great kids great people they they have great ethics great morals they expect a lot once again hard working blue collar kids and those kids hear those adults talk trash to each other back and forth since the time they were born especially from Eunice and Jal but they do respect each other most of these kids on these two teams have family close friends um, from one town or the other um, I know my family for example does many of the fans every day work together uh, against any other team we are usually pulling for each other I've got lifelong friends that that uh, are Jow Panthers heck several kids on the team have parents who are Jow graduates this yep. year for Eunice uh, my kids have close friends even some kinfolk some cousins who play for Jow but when these two towns face off, it's competitive and there's some trash oh, yeah. talk. Yep. Some people say that's unsportsmanlike. I disagree. I believe that helps build the hype, the excitement. 
Um, I, it builds the atmosphere. I love the trash talk. I know there's a fine line. Over the years, I've had Jow kids ding dong ditch my house. I found blue and gold shirts and streamers hanging on my front door. Um, in the middle of the night, I've had to get out of bed and go to the front door when Jow people are driving off laughing. Um, it, it, it's meant to be within the spirit of the rivalry. Yep. Now, would I have allowed my kid to make or walk out of my house with a shirt that said what those shirts? No, I, no. I, I, I wouldn't, okay? Um, but at the same time, when I was a kid, would I have worn one? Probably yeah, so. The rivalry <laughs> has seen its share of physical violence, violent fights, ugly scenes. There's been vandalism, damage to property, lots of serious troubles. This situation likely needed some corrective action. My understanding is that action has been taken care yeah. of. I believe the school has done what they needed to do and done a good job. And I don't like the fact that people had negative things to say about kids. When you've got adults out there bashing kids, that's when I get a little irritated. Mm -hmm. And I will say one thing. My kids are going to make mistakes. They're going to make bad choices. I made them. I don't know anybody that didn't. And I believe that we all have, as I mentioned. But let's understand one thing. I will have our kids back. Um, and I will defend them. Um, I want our community to come together and do the same. And I think for the most part that we've done that. But with all of that said, I think we have to put this behind us and go play some football. Yeah, so that's let's, my. Let's just play football. How about that? That's my spill on it. It's uh, 11.54. I've probably had 30, 40, 50 messages <laughs> asking specifically about that during the broadcast. I've tried to stay away from it. Um, I I'm more than willing to, to discuss it with anybody outside the booth. So here we go. Rodriguez back to pass for the Falcons. He just throws that one away. I think he's throwing it over here to number uh, 44 on the sideline. <laughs> yeah, Eunice had some pressure on him that time. Yep. I was trying to see who that is. That uh, 58, maybe. Yeah, I, I can't tell yeah, for sure. Still getting a lot of messages <laughs> about things blowing now. Blowing you up now, huh? Yeah, and, and which is okay. I just can't keep up with them all, so I'm going to have to apologize. With that said, Loving heads back to the line of scrimmage. Second it's second and 10. 10. Looks like the ball spotted about the 24-yard line. Three receivers to the left, one out here to the right. Rodriguez and Perez in the back in the backfield. Perez looked like he was buckling his chin strap for a second. He's going to hand it right up the middle to Perez. He breaks around the right side. Once that him. young man turns and starts north and south, he is tough to bring down. Yeah, he probably got a good, he got at least five yards out of that carry. Maybe six, maybe seven. Still moving. <laughs> They're going to keep on spotting. Yeah. So third down and about three. Yeah. Yeah, so Loving heads back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and three. Ball spotted about the 36-yard line. No, 31. I'm sorry, 31-yard line. 11-15 on the clock here in the third. Loving back to the line of scrimmage. Three to the right, one to the – or three to the left, one to the right. They throw it out to the left side. Cardinal had him right near mm. the line of scrimmage. He's able to shake him and gets all the way down the field to about the 39-yard line. Big Picked pickup, up first, first down. down for Loving. Looks like there might be a, one of those pink flags. Oh, there is. So they're going to call holding on yep. the we'll Falcons, and that'll scoot everything back, so that'll negate the first Unit down. schools are excited to have students uh -oh. and staff back on campus and involved in another <sighs> Resendo says school we term. need his eyes to help us see up here and yeah, see the we'll numbers. We need those young eyes up here. Whatever I, I way. concur. You got a commercial going? Me? Quality educational Can you hear experiences in a uh -uh. Safe I'm hearing a commercial. The entire Unis community no, I, I don't hear is really nothing. involved with all levels of sports and academics. You're hearing a commercial in your ears? Yeah. A friendly small town with a wonderful community and amenities and a fantastic that is weird. school system. <laughs> Did it go off? It went away. <laughs> I don't know what caused don't know that. What happened. That, yeah, that's weird. I thought maybe I was hearing things. <laughs> Loving back to the line of scrimmage. Third down, we'll call it nine. They send a man in motion out here to the right side. Eunice trying to get some pressure on the quarterback. Then they flip the ball down to the middle of the field. A big hole down the middle, man. and they're going to pick up a big first Still down. Still get it. And uh, Eunice well, had them back there. That. Just hadn't been able to contain once they get things where they want them. Hadn't been able to wrap up, take people down. So that's going to be a first down loving. 14-13 is the score. 10-20 on the clock here in quarter number three. Ball's going to be spotted about the 39-yard line. 
Loving heads back to the line of scrimmage, first and 10. They need to get to just near midfield at about the 49 and a half for their next first down. Eunice needs a stop here. I don't know that other than right there at the end of the half, I don't know that we've had a turnover on downs or a pick. We need one here. They throw it over toward the sideline. That ball's going to be overthrown and incomplete. And so that's going to make it second and 10. Time for a stand here. We need to get them Cardinals to stand up. Yeah, I Maybe agree. Some backfield tackling would be nice right now. You know, the interesting thing about my phone is about a third of these people sending me messages are JAL folks that are tuned in <laughs> and watching and listening. So we appreciate you listening, my JAL peeps. Um, we're playing loving today, and it's two red and white teams, so you guys can cheer for our red and white groups. We appreciate you, and we hope you whoop Texaco over there. Yep. Loving with another run. That's Perez right up the middle. They're going to pick up a good seven, maybe eight yards, all the way to about the 46-yard yep. line. Bring up third down. Third down, like I said, we'll call it three. Looks like they're spotting them about the 46. 9.30 on the clock. The clock is ticking. Loving's liking this uh, speed of the game. They like to just push it up the field and watch that clock run, and I don't blame them. Yep, the time is definitely on their side right now. Yeah. Yep. They come to the line. Third down, probably about three yards to go. <laughs> you know what's funny is some of the people on the uh, broadcast are telling me that they could hear the commercial too. Yeah, that. yeah, that's Liz. Liz told me she could hear it. You know, and what's funny is for whatever reason it wasn't playing in my <laughs> my ears. And and if you look here, the commercials are all off. Yeah, that so was. So all, all I did when you said you heard that was turned them on and off again. That was like a ghost commercial. Yeah, huh? yeah, that's a weird deal. Maybe we got Can't a short. Which one it was? Which one was it? I don't know, but somebody's getting some little little background playing action. A little extra uh, extra shout-out. That's good. Yeah. Well, and I probably had them playing in the background while I was giving my <laughs> spill on the events of the week. So it looks like we're going to have another penalty. It looks like they're marching loving back again. That was so, a holding call. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> I wish people could. It, it'd be kind of funny for you at home to be able to see my glass. This this is like oh, a, yeah. a two-glass window right I don't here. I you can see it. Though. And uh, where I'm sitting at, I, I man, mine, mine <laughs> looks like somebody took a Hershey bar to it and tried to clean it. Uh, there's some little chunks on it. I'm assuming that's like pterodactyl poop or something. It's yeah. uh, some kind of large bird dumped that, that little pile on the I don't the know window. how they got it between those two <laughs> panes either. of glass. <laughs> I don't either. But uh, anyway, my side's hard to see through. I have to stand up every now and then and lean toward Charlie. Here goes Loving, third down. We'll call oh, it 13. Oh, my goodness. They finally got us. And we got an offsides jump there. Big 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, and uh, that's going to be big Jaden Sims, I believe. That'll give him half of that yardage back. Sure would be nice if they'd say he was drawn over by some movement. Yeah, maybe they're talking about it. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they, they sure did. Was. So Big Sims, his nice. family in Brazil watching the game. We were uh, we were quick to jump on him, but he actually uh, got drawn off. Good job, good job. Yeah, so uh, good job there. That's going to scoot Loving back more. This is what the Cardinals needed. Now we got to take advantage of it. We need a stop here, which could force Loving to have to punt. And then that could be the momentum shift that yep. we need. That's I mean, this, exactly is, what we need. this is big right here for the Cardinals. Yeah, that's exactly what we need, a little mighty mo shift right now. Be a yep. good time for it. <laughs> yeah, we, we appreciate you, Megan Gallegos. I appreciate you, and I agree with you. Um, I love me some, some Megan. She has been just amazing and great help and, and a great friend of my family. So we appreciate you. Here goes the snap. Uh, Loving sets screen. up a screen. They had him in the backfield. He br bursts out of there, still pushing ahead. I saw flags go again. I'm assuming that's, that's going to happen. There goes some <laughs> there late goes another hit. Flag. So there oh, goes some boy. flags. There was a bunch of see, see, and, extracurricular and, activity. And, and here's where we, we talked about earlier, them not blowing the whistle on those stand-ups. That's what we get When right you there. wait and mm -hmm. you wait and you wait, now you have people running in, smacking people, and now we throw a 15-yard penalty, whoever it's on. You gotta blow. You gotta blow yeah, those plays way. down when they get yep. stopped. And and if you don't, you're gonna have those extracurricular activities, and and then you're gonna start blaming. And whoever it's on, it's yeah. not not necessarily uh, fair because of the way it's been. 
Yeah, it's it's, it's slow just, whistle. It's 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 hard to know. You know, in in most games they they stop the momentum, they blow the whistle. Today, the whole game has been we push and push and push and push and push and a good two, three seconds worth of pushing before the whistle finally blows. Mm -hmm. And so now you've got kids flying in there and hitting folks after that. And and like I said, whether it's us, them. Uh, they waved the flag off. Oh, they're going to pick them up? Okay. Well, they picked one up. What about the other one? Because they got another one laying over there that was at well, the end. Here comes the white hat over to the hmm, interesting. Falcon side. So we got a bunch of discussion going on here. While we're doing that, I'm going to jump on a couple of these sponsors. Devon Energy's hiring. Uh, you know, they, they need folks. They need people in our area. They've got some of our old quarterbacks over there working for them, including uh, Ryan Dean, including my uh, son-in-law, Bryce Jenkins. We appreciate you. Appreciate you back home listening. We know yeah. you are. Herrera's Old Field Services, Debbie's Country Kitchen. It's Debbie's birthday. Happy birthday out there, Debbie. It's the kitchen's birthday. And uh, well, that went against Lovey. Guns Up Services, the Thompson family. I know some of them are listening. Some of them are here. We appreciate the Thompsons. Great people. Eunice Wrecker and Reynolds. John Dean Davis. Man, I tell you, my man, John Dean. Mm -hmm. Good that folks. guy's salt of the earth type folks. And uh, you can't help but shout out to Maureen as well. Redbird Gas, Bart Parker. Oh, Bart <coughs> from Redbird Gas. Lobo Trucking. NMR Pipeline. Man, that Bettis family. Stacy Pop. Oh, my goodness. Good people. So here we go. Well, now it's fourth down. They're going to punt. Oh, so Loving has happened. the punt team. It's fourth and 35 yeah, or so. Fourth and forever. I mean, Eunice's punt returners are standing at midfield. Here's the punt. That it's an end nice over punt. end one. It is a good one. Eunice gets the ball in the air. That's Luis Gomez. He's trying to turn the corner. He does nope, for a minute, and it's going to get it all the way down about the 40. And there were some questionable blocks there. Yep. I got to tell you, I was worried about a couple of them, but I don't see any laundry on the on the field. And, you know, like you said, it went against Loving. It could have went against us, but it's because of the low, the slow whistle. Yeah. Yeah, if, if you just blow that whistle when they, when they get stood up and the momentum stops, just blow it. And uh, no matter, you know, yeah, you could still push for a few more yards, but I'm always worried about people getting hurt yep. or starting to get those late hits on both sides. So first and 10, ball spotted at the 42-yard line. Two to the right, two to the left. Melanson and Woods in the backfield. It seems like it's been a long time since we've been here. Here's the snap. They fake the, the little pitch out, and then they hand it to Woods right up the middle. He drives. See, here we are again. Yep, just forever. He drove up. up through the middle, and then, and then you have two, three, four seconds after the momentum has stopped before they finally blow the whistle. And so you're just asking for late see, hits or injuries. See, I don't think he got all the forward progress there. Uh, they're, they're giving him a bunch. Yeah. We'll take it. 39-yard line is where they've spotted him. Well, second and about eight. Yeah. So Eunice heads back to the line of scrimmage, one to the right. No, they've got two over there and two to the left. Woods and Melanson in the backfield. Melanson takes the snap, looking down the field. He tucks it up. Now he's going to tuck it and run. He's got some room. He's over the 35, down to the 30. Now he breaks around the right side. He's to the 10, 5. Look at Melanson go. Touchdown, six points on the board. Elijah Melanson says, give me some of oh, that. Oh, no, we got a flag Oh, no, here. do we? Do you see a flag? Maybe. Maybe I'm seeing things. What are you seeing out there, Charlie? Let's say no. I don't see anything. Maybe somebody dropped a handkerchief. Oh, Let's Charlie. Alone. Charlie, you got my heart over here. <laughs> I think we got six points on the board. Charlie was seeing oh, I'll things. Oh, I see what it is. It's the, it's, it's they've some, got the, the white is outlined by red. It's some and, bird poop on the window. Oh, that's what it that's is. That's a little, little pink God. poop up there. He thought he saw a flag, but it wasn't. <laughs> the Cardinals off Melanson's long tuck and run put six more points on the board, and they take the lead. It's now Eunice 19 and loving 14 and it does look like we've got the offense on the field gonna go for two probably a smart move so Eunice takes the snap looking down the field is Melanson he's still bobbing he's still weaving he rolls out here to the left side he's and gonna he's gonna tuck and run he's trying to get there and he does and, and he's gonna score two it. more points Nice. And Melanson does it himself there as he tucks it and outruns everybody around the side, and he's in for two. And Melanson, it's the Melanson show during that run right there, as well as the one before, and your Cardinals lead 21 to 14. That's nice. We'll shout out to some of our sponsors here. Parker Energy Services, Brett and Penny Parker. BT8 Service and Rental, Chad Howler. Eunice Pumping Supply, Becky Nogemeyer, Brandon Matthews and crew. Eunice Health Clinic, Brian, Elmer Romero, Aaron Pascal in the game. 
Eunice Public Schools, Dwayne Haynes, Cynthia Sims, Rosendo, Matt Coy, Kenny Reed, Mrs. Hahn, David Gallegos, and all the staff. City of Eunice, Billy Hobbs, Shannon Cummings, Cardinal Hardware, Davis and Myers family. Redbird Garage, Josh and Erica Jones. Devon Energy, Bryce Jenkins and Ryan Dean. NMR Pipeline, LLC, The Bettis Family, Lobo Trucking, Redbird Gas, Bart Parker, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, John Dean and Maureen Davis, Guns Up Service, The Thompson Family, Debbie's Country Kitchen, and Herrera's Oil Field Service. Shout out to John Dean. He just sent me a message. We know you're listening, man. We appreciate you. Leanne Reeves. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those kind words that you sent me. I, I appreciate it, and and I can guarantee you, there's nobody that's a that's that's a bigger Eunice Cardinal through and through than me. And and uh, I love our kids. I know they make mistakes, but I, but I love our kids, and and I'll support them 100 percent. So here we go. You are loving with the ball. They take the kickoff, running around this right side, trying to find some room, still on his feet. This is the way the whole game has been. And finally, the Cardinals flock in there. I heard some <laughs> little Cardinals <laughs> fluttering around in there, and they Man. flock in and take him down. He must have run 40 yards to get those two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he ran 40 yards in about a five-yard circle. So Loving will have the ball first and 10. Looks like they're going to spot him about the 26-yard line. And let's see if that defense can stand it on up again. Man, that defense been out there a long time. Shout out, Elma. Hey, that looks like a Baylor shirt, Elma. Is that Baylor? <laughs> Sending me a picture of some kiddos there wearing the Baylor shirt. We appreciate you. Go Bears. That's right. Sick em Bears. That's what Ovi comes home bears. saying all the Sick time. Seven, I'm going to call it 7-11. 7-11 on the clock. It's time for a big, big gulp. gulp. They hand it to Perez up their left side. He's trying to find Ooh, some room. A flock of Cardinals comes fluttering in. <laughs> and they take him down for a loss. And uh, they're going to give him some forward momentum or forward progress there and put him right around the line of scrimmage yeah. originally. It's going to be second, second 10. 6.54 on the clock. Clock is ticking. I would I would think at some point Loving will start speeding that up a little bit because they've been ahead the whole time and able to do this for a while. Now the clock is not it's on their not side. It's not their friend anymore. So Loving heads back to the line of scrimmage, ready to go. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Rodriguez in the backfield. He's got Perez back there with him. He takes the snap. He's looking past the whole way. Looking out here to his right side, he throws it. He's got that man sitting, and he drops that one. That ball hit him right in the numbers and then fell to the floor. So 21-14 is the score, 625. So third Loving and 10. got another third and 10 here. If the Cardinals could get a stop here, you would see a huge shift in momentum. Yep. This would be a big one. Big shift. Time to stand up, boys. Getting that backfield. Yep. Problem is, you get in the backfield and that quarterback slippery as a goose. <laughs> he gets around. Vernon, I agree with you, and we appreciate you listening out there for sure. 6.25 on the clock. Loving back to the line of scrimmage, third and 10. Here's the snap. They fake the handoff up the middle. Looking down the field, they've got a man there for a second, and the ball's picked off by Luis Gomez. He's to the 40, the 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, and he gets knocked out of bounds. Oh, and he, <laughs> what a play by Luis Gomez. Always Mr. Wright, as he is in the right place, right time off the deflection. So we're I'm, right about the 11-yard line where he went out. Yeah, that was a big, big play by Luis Gomez. Man. It was a deflected ball. I'm not sure if that was Mata or who, but somebody deflected right. it. And it went right into the hands of Luis Gomez and off to the races he went. So your Cardinals will have the ball first down and 10 from about the 11 yeah. yard line. Now we could we could literally get a first down and not get a touchdown, but it'd be very difficult. Like the length of the football. Yeah. So Eunice heads over here. They're in a weird formation. Yeah. I've never seen this one before with us. We fake, no, we give the handoff to Woods. He's bobbing, he's weaving. He's gonna pick up at least three, maybe, maybe four. Four yards on that. That was a weird set for us. Yeah. That, that's not normal. I've watched us pretty much every game. I've never seen that set. Trying something new. Yeah, maybe. no, it, it worked. It picked up four yeah, yards. And the little, and the semi-huddle they're doing. Yeah. Kind of working. Yeah, probably, probably at this point looking to run a little <laughs> clock. You know, as we've mentioned, we're a little short-handed, so getting out of here with a W is a big deal big for you. It's 21-14. Here comes 
Hyan Castro in motion. He turns it around the right side. Hyan's bobbing. He's weaving. He's still on his feet. He dives for the end zone. And they're going to call him down about the one. Hyan was stretched out. He was reaching. He had his tongue out. He looked like he was on the on the tongue of a of a of a shoe. And uh, he was looking like MJ, but he doesn't it's quite break quite. the plane. It's third down and one. And that was uh, he's about a, about a yard short of the first down. Maybe about a yard and a two yard short of the touchdown. So 5.14 and ticking on the clock. Eunice heads to the line of scrimmage, third down and less than one. And maybe one and a half to get it in. Here's the snap. They hand it to Woods. Woods gets wrapped up, and he's going to lose yardage as there was a pile of Falcons that come through there looking like uh, vultures instead of Falcons. Now we got fourth down and short. Yeah. So the loving, faithful going crazy. This would be a big momentum swing back yeah. the other way. Yeah, it sure would. So Eunice heads to the line of scrimmage, three to the left. They've got two out to the right. Melanson's in the backfield by himself. They faked the – oh, yeah, they're going to draw them, I that'll think. That'll be a first down. Yeah, that'll – well, I don't know. Yeah, you know, yeah. I think it'll be an automatic I first down. I think it's down, automatic because right? it's half the distance. Let's see what they – because I don't know for sure on that. I think it would be. It's fourth down and about three, and half the distance won't be a first, but if it's an automatic first – Well, I thought it would be on the – because if it would have – yeah, no. Nah. It must not be, and I, I don't know that rule, so I don't, don't want to say anybody's wrong, either. right, or indifferent. I don't know that. It looks like it's going to be fourth, and they're going to call it less than a yard. And so uh, apparently uh, it was it was third down and and mm, about you three. Was take a timeout, it looks like. And uh, anyway, they jumped offside, so it would be a five-yard penalty, but because we're so close to the goal line, it's half the distance, so that makes it fourth and a couple of feet. So right here, we've got a timeout on the floor, on the field, 422 or 424. I'm trying to peek around the corner. 424. Scores 14 <laughs> to 21, and your Cardinals are in the lead. Um, some some other issues that I just want to make sure that I, that I mention uh, at the conclusion of today's game, we will be doing our, uh, our player of the game. We'll get back into that here this week and get that taken care of. Um, you know, we did have our Eunice employee spotlight person. That was Marisol Duran. And so we, we appreciate her for all that she does. I was trying to look here at, at my notes. Um, yeah, so we, we appreciate all the hard work that she does and all of those folks that go out and work hard to make the Eunice Public Schools great. 424 on the clock. 14 to 21 is the score. Eunice heads back to the line of scrimmage. Big, big, big play for both teams right yeah. here. Melanson and Woods in the backfield. Here's the snap. They're going to hand it up the middle to Woods. He drives yeah, he in, and he's in for six. Stopped. And <laughs> Elgin Woods says, let me get some points on the board. Give me those. Give me that ball. They're not going to stop me this time. Boys. And Woods with about a two-yard, we'll call it a two-yard touchdown run. So that makes the score Eunice 27. The Loving Falcons 14, and we're getting ready to looks like point kick the point after. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna try to kick this one. Woods back. You know, we mentioned it earlier, and I I won't even say it till after he kicks no, it. 14 to 27. <laughs> just wait. Woods is back there. He's ready. High and Castro the holder. He takes the snap, and there's flags flying oh, everywhere. It's got to be on us, I would think. We'll back up. Yeah, they're gonna back us up five, and uh, we'll have another shot at it. I think. Or was it on them? Or did they just want to blow the whistle and ice our kicker? Yeah, you know, it must have been on them because <laughs> I think they scooted us up about yeah, a yard. About a yard up. So, anyway, Woods really back there again. Penalty right here don't really mean a whole lot if you're going the other way. Castro puts the ball down. The kick is up. It's a boomer. And man, it man. is – the kicker just gets cleaned up there at the end. No flags well, or nothing, good. but the kick is good. I don't know how you run over the kicker like that and it don't and no touch penalty. nobody and there's no <laughs> penalty. But anyway, with that said, it's 28-14. The Cardinals are in the lead here as we are 420 remaining in the third quarter. It's time to go to Colorado. And shout out to some sponsors over there. Yeah, Parker Energy Services, BT8 Service and Rental, Eunice Pump and Supply, Eunice Health Clinic, Redbird Garage, Devon Energy, 
NMR Pipeline LLC, Lobo Trucking, Redbird Gas, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, Guns Up Services, Eunice Public Schools, City of Eunice, The Cardinal Hardware, Herrera's Oil Field Service, Debbie's Country Kitchen, which is, by the way, 27 years old today. Is that how you say it? It sounds weird when you say it like that. But <laughs> they're 20, the Country Kitchen is 27 today. Happy birthday. And Devon Energy, remember, is hiring in the Eunice area. So if you're looking for a good company job, that would be the one to to uh, investigate. And shout out to Carlos Herrera. He's back there listening to us, one of our sponsors. We appreciate you. Jacob Mendoza, Adam Thompson. Uh, man, so many great people out there. Selena uh, Dudley, we appreciate you guys. Here comes the kick from the Cardinals. Scores 28-14. Loving has it. Taking it up to about the 20, 25. Here comes a host of Cardinals. <laughs> they come in and they said, boo, boo. They, they just flew in like a I flock. I heard that. Too. I'm telling you, feathers yeah. flew everywhere. And uh, the red feathers are all still attached. to the, uh, the falcon feathers weren't on that particular play. 4.15 remaining here in the third. 14.28. And Loving will have the ball the, first and 10. About the 27-yard line. Yep. Yep. I always try to make sure I tell yeah. that yard line because Lynn White a lot of times mm -hmm. or Bobby Patterson will set back home and do stats. Do the stats. And if you don't say where that ball spotted, sometimes it's hard to see. So shout out to my man Leonard Skinner White. Voted this week to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. That ceremony will take place later, but congratulations, Lynn White. Well deserved. Well a deserved. cardinal legend. They throw a little screen pass out to the left side. Eunice trying to get there. Big, big play Whoa. from the Falcons. And he almost busted it He over. did. He was going. I've said it a couple of times. When that young man gets running north and south. <laughs> he got them wheels on him. That's right. He picks up a first down all the way out to about the 40. And the... Uh, <laughs> The officials rolling that arm, like, saying, run, roll, that clock, run that clock, run that clock, run that clock. I didn't have dinner before this game. <laughs> let's roll that clock. I agree with him. When you're in the lead, you want that thing <laughs> running. Of course. It don't matter what was happening. 3.50 on the clock, third quarter. Eunice in the lead, loving with the ball. Ball spotted about the 40. Loving heads up, trying to get his men set is Rodriguez. Oh, man, we got people moving everywhere moving now. everywhere. Now switching sides. Now you got... Two to the well, now we got a man in motion. I'm confused. I'm lost. My head hurts just watching. Back to pass Rodriguez. He's trying to get around the corner. There's uh, a oh man, oh. they had him. They had him twice. He's still on his feet. There you. was a huge blindside block. No call. Still, still on moving. his feet. <laughs> over the 40. And here wow. comes a flag at the very, very end. <laughs> man. Man. I, I, in my day, when I played football, that was a heck of a block. But they yeah. don't let you do that anymore. No, not, not these days. And, and so, man, there was nothing I used to like more than when somebody, like, on an interception or something, and all, everybody would be running back the other way. Not, not, oh, yeah. And I could come in there and whack. just whack some guy. All you had to do was get your, your helmet across in front of them, even mm -hmm. if they were looking the other way, and that was clean. It's not anymore. And so, uh, but I didn't see a flag come in when that happened. I saw no, one come in way at the flag. end, and it looks like they're over there talking to Loving, so I'm not real sure what they're going to call here. Like it might be on us. Maybe. Or maybe not at all. No, he, oh, they called a face mask on us. They called something on them, offsetting penalties. Okay. I don't even know what that other symbol was. It looked I'm like he was sure. like, okay, I got two Cardinals over here. I got two Falcons over here. Offset. We're all going to go over this way, and we're going to fly, fly, fly. That, that's what <laughs> I took out of that. I have no idea what that meant. Cardinals are flying this way. <laughs> the, the Falcons are flying the other way. Let's just start over. 3.16 on the clock, 14 to 28. Ball setting right back at the 40, and it's like, you're right. We just started over. Once again, I got to give a shout out to Lee White and his gang over here. They've done an amazing yep. job. This field looks awesome. Yeah, nice. And uh, you know, the the Loving Schools have done a great job. That I I can't wait to come back over here for track this year. This this looks really nice. Yep. They've they've yep. done a great job. I like it. I like it a lot. So uh, can't wait to see it when the track and everything's done. So Loving back to the line of scrimmage. Here's the snap. They fake the handoff. No, they give it to Perez up the middle, and he tried to cut back and kind of slipped. A few Cardinals kind of jumped near him after he slipped, but... Uh, Picked up probably about three, maybe four. Yeah, yeah. Probably four yards. So, ball spotted now about the 42, maybe the 43-yard line. So, they've got it on the board as second and eight. So, 
be a, a, a seven or seven or eight. So headed to the line of scrimmage is the Falcons. You know, it, it's it's kind of odd to me that they've continued to play this slow, methodical pace, even yep. down two touchdowns. Down, that down still seems quarters. to be what they're gonna what they're gonna do. So Loving heads to the line of scrimmage. Two thirty on the clock in the third. Taking their time still. They fake the uh, little draw yeah, offsides play. And then they, they've got some pressure coming on the quarterback. They hit him, but he released it. And the pass is complete right at midfield, depending on whether it's a left foot or right foot spot. Could determine and whether it's – and the chains the already moved. <laughs> they moved. Yeah, they, they had already moved them. They said, let's move these chains. <laughs> I'm right. sure it's a first down. <laughs> we'll move them. He's saying, run that clock, run that clock. So here we go, first and ten, ball right at midfield at the 50. Falcons still content with taking their time and watching the clock run, which is fine by me. Yep, at this point, I think it's a good thing. I mean, they're they're walking to the line of scrimmage. I'm okay with that, I got to tell you. So Loving heads up to the line of scrimmage slowly, 147 and ticking. The clock is ticking. And Good here time. goes Loving. They got a man in motion. They run him through. They're going to hand it right up the middle to Perez. He's got a big gap big again. Gap. That young man, I'm telling you, when he ducks his head and turns his shoulders, he's tough to deal with. Tough to get him down. Yep. He got probably close to nine yards on that. Yeah, maybe eight. Okay. Yeah, we definitely appreciate you. Gary, Ray, and Annabelle back there listening. Got a new baby cardinal. All right. Uh, on the way, so we appreciate you. Use more cardinals, always. All the time. I always use more cardinals. Yep. And if we, if you got people out there that need to come this way, Devin Energy is hiring. Hiring. Especially if you got some big new cardinals. That's right. <laughs> full grown. So they hand it right up the middle to Perez again. He's got a full head of steam. Man. I, I got to tell you, <laughs> I don't know why they don't do that more. Yeah. I mean, he gets four or five yards every time he carries that Man, ball. Man, and, and this half, it's been 8 to 10 to 12 to 15. I mean, that was 15. He just runs right over us. That young man stuff. I remember when they moved him up. I think it was an, as an eighth grader. Yeah. They moved him up, and he was back there running, and, and he was tough then. And yeah. every year, he's got a little tougher. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that kid's tough. Hard to handle. That's so, 35 sure. seconds on the clock remaining here in the third. 14 to 28 it. is the score. Loving is driving. They're down to, we'll call it the 34-yard line, somewhere in that general vicinity. I'm not sure if they're driving or riding a bike. Right now. <laughs> they're not getting in a hurry. Yeah, they're not in a hurry. They fake the handoff up the middle. Quarterback trying to roll to his right. He's got people after him, and he just throws it away. He's not outside the hashes. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Find but it. I don't see any flags down. He took a good hit. He kind of got up a little slow there. I don't know how that works at the high school level. I don't know if you have to throw it outside yeah, the I numbers. Think you do have to. I don't know if you have to be outside the hashes. I don't know how that works, but there definitely wasn't anybody within 10, 15 yards of where that ball landed. But that, uh, they call it an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock with 12 seconds left in the third quarter. So Loving gets a, a break there on the end. Oh, no, there is a flag. I see it. It's That dang pink flag is just hard to see. So let's see if they're going to call him for it. There's so much pink stuff out there, it's hard to tell. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, yeah, they, they – that'll be a loss of down. Yep. Yeah, and, and I thought that was the right call, but I didn't know the high school rule. Yeah. I mean, he, his body was not outside the hashes, and, and right. the pass didn't get to the numbers. Well, and, um, and they've got to have a receiver in the, in the vicinity, right? And I think otherwise you have to throw it past the line of scrimmage, mm -hmm. and, and I don't think he met any of those guidelines. But, but like I said, I, I'm not 100% certain. 14 to 28 is the score. It's going to be second and a long ways now. About 20. 20 yeah. Maybe 21. So second and, yeah, we'll, we'll call it 20, 21 yards. Loving heads back to the line of scrimmage. Second and a long ways. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Rodriguez in the backfield with Perez. He tries to get Eunice to jump. Now he takes the snap. Looking down the field, he's going to fake the throw out to the left. Then he floats it across the middle. The ball finds the field. And we'll still have one more play in the third quarter. Six seconds left with the clock stopped. So another incomplete pass there. So that's going to make it third down and 20-ish. Yeah, 
20, 21, 20 something. So the Cardinals defense trying to, to take care of business here. Shout out to J. Lou, Marty, and all mm. the Hefe's gang. We yeah. appreciate you. Appreciate you listening for sure. Some more diehard Cardinals. Taking care of business pretty good for being a little shorthanded today. Yeah, I agree. This this Cardinal team is, you know, with all the distractions, well, all the things going on, so yeah. far they've done a good job. Still got a, another quarter to go, but so far they've done a good job. So here goes Loving, third down in a long ways. They take the snap, looking past the whole way. They fake the throw and then take off up the middle. Got a big running room there by the quarterback. He gets taken down, but he gets back to about the original line of scrimmage. So at the end of three quarters, your score is Eunice 28, Loving 14, and we're going to go to the fourth quarter, and it's going to be fourth down and about 12 from the 35-yard line. Want to run down some of these sponsors, talk about them a little bit in between quarters. I want to talk about some people like Red Bird Garage, Josh and Erica Jones. Man, you know, Josh and Erica Jones are, are those people that that do a little bit of everything and uh, you know you just you sometimes don't understand how much they do um, whether it be helping with youth sports whether it be you know the 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 crafts arts and crafts festivals and fairs and things that we have up there the the what do they call it the Eunice days mm -hmm, thing the um, trade days yeah all, all of that stuff that it they, seems they like even try to get snakes out of people's Every Engines. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll help drag a snake out of an engine. Redbird Garage, Josh and Erica Jones, we appreciate you. Um, you know, we've talked about some of these others. I, I, I've talked about so many of them. They're all just so so great, uh, so, so good people, and so we appreciate all that you do. Debbie's Country Kitchen, we've talked about today as the birthday of the kitchen. And uh, many, many meals I've, I've eaten oh, over yeah. there. You know, my Uncle Kenny Jones, which is Josh and Erica Jones, uh, Redbird Garage people. Um, man, when, when I first came back to Eunice as, as the police chief, I used to spend a lot of mornings sitting Breaking over there. Drinking coffee, huh? Uh, well, you, you, you got to learn what's happening in town, and Debbie's is the perfect place to Did go sit down. Did they have donuts out. there then? Or? No, but... Um, you, get, you get some I, police officers around it. Got to be some donuts. They make a heck of a pancake over there. I'm I will teasing. tell you, I'm a, a heck of a pancake. And uh, and I'll tell you, there's no better place in town to watch for people running stop signs than right there at that place. What you a place! Sit there and just get on your phone. Hey, go get this guy here, and he just run a stop sign. So we appreciate you. Appreciate all our sponsors, all of you, all that you do. Getting ready to start the fourth quarter. It's a big, big play for both teams here. Fourth down. We'll call it 12. Ball spotted at the 35. The uh, teams are both lined up, ready to go. Eunice in that widespread prevent yep. defense, just trying to get a stop here. This is a big play. You know, I've said this a couple times, but I think it's true at this point. Maybe the biggest play so far. They might be spread a little thin for this that running game they got, though. I'm a little concerned about that running game. Yep. Well, we'll see what happens. They're waiting on the officials to give them the uh, the official okay <laughs> as we're coming out of that third quarter, entering into the fourth. And uh, the officials are both over here having a discussion, the white hat and the linesman with the uh, uh, staff of Loving. Not sure what was going on there. Nobody told us. So now the white hat heads out into the middle, and he's discussing something with the uh, center official. Makes, makes you wonder, you know, sometimes the, the coaches on one side are seeing something that they don't think is yeah. right, and they, they want to tell the officials so the officials will keep an eye on it. Maybe that's what's happening. I don't have any idea. Yeah, Just no guessing. Telling. Just some speculation on my part. So here we go. The whistle sounds. Rodriguez in the backfield. Takes a look at his team. Takes the snap. Eunice had the blitz coming. They had him back there. He's going to – no, no, he's not. He's, he started to tuck it and run. Then he throws it toward the end zone. And I think – it is. It's we picked off. Pick. I think that's Woods, is it? Or is that Green Gloves, uh, Mata? I saw flags, flags just come flying, flying in everywhere. And, Chances um, are we got either a hold or a block in the back. Yeah, yeah. either either way, big deal. I, I couldn't tell for sure who that was. Could you? No. I think it's Mata. I think it, – yeah. I, it's hard to see out there on that field. 
I, it's it's hard to see through this glass that I'm looking through. I guarantee you, that I'm gonna I'm gonna leave out of here in a minute, <laughs> hanging my head out the window on the well, way to Eunice. I'm kind of to used to, to having that window open over in Eunice. Yeah, try to Come clear by. my vision. I, and this this don't open. It's just hard double plane glass. Well, we could open it, but well, then we couldn't close it again. <laughs> oh man, you know what? I just noticed we just uh, oh there it came back. We lost one of our lights for a minute. Uh -oh. Our signal wasn't good for a second. That ain't no good. What are we doing here now? Oh, well, they're trying to side on that flag, I guess. Yeah, there for just a moment, we lost our signal. I hope everybody back home can still hear us. Looks like we've got all the lights on now, but we did lose it for just a second. We appreciate you, Melba Jordan, and all the gang over there listening. Shout out to Edward Charo for listening. Edward's always back there paying attention to what's happening in Unisports, doing things with, like, the Boy Scouts and all that group. We appreciate you. Oh, so that goes against loving, personally. Well, I mean, you know, all I can do is say it must have been a great call. It had to be a good call <laughs> <laughs> from our from our perspective right here. I have any idea what they called. I like to see a bunch of little blurry. If they point, if they point the other direction, I'm always happy. <laughs> I can I can just see a little bunch of little blurry men through this uh, glass here. So and a couple of like one. Well, Something on the glass. I'm not sure what it is. 145 remaining in this ball game. Eunice has doubled, loving up 24 to 18. 11:45. They've got the ball. What did I say? <laughs> you said 145. Oh yeah, 11:45. Yeah, 1145. So Eunice heads back to the line of scrimmage. Melanson in the backfield takes the snap. He throws it over to Hyan Castro. Hyan Castro has a blocker in front of him. Breaks down the sidelines. He crosses the 50. And if there's no laundry on Should the field, that was a down. big, big play by Hyan Castro. He had some great blocking out in front of him, helping out out there. Couldn't tell for sure who all was out there, but, man, they were doing a good job lead blocking for him. He picks up a first down and crosses midfield to the 49 in Falcon territory. 11.35 on the clock We're now, the and it's Ready ticking. <laughs> Eunice heads back to the line of scrimmage. Ball spotted at the 49-yard line. Melanson takes the snap, hands it right up the middle to Woods. Woods is bobbing. He's weaving. He's around the 45, down by the 40. He's still on his feet. He breaks through. He's to the 20, the 10, 5. Touchdown, Woods. And there we do. That's, that's how we do it. I'm looking. I'm looking, making sure there's no laundry. Elgin Woods. With a heck of a run there as he broke through a couple of tackles. I thought they might have had him, and the next thing you know, he busted out. He was going, <laughs> and that's six more points on the board. Now he'll, he'll run around there and get ready to kick it now, huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> so that's a 40, we'll call it a 47-yard touchdown run by Woods. What a play by Woods. I tell you what, this player of the game is going to be a tough one. Yeah. Going to be a tough one today because it's been balanced. Hein Castro to do the holding. Takes the snap. The kick is up from Woods, who just ran half the length of the field. And it is good. All right. And your Cardinals now lead 14 to 35. The Cardinals cruising here, flying high, soaring through the clear blue skies of southeastern New Mexico. Yeah, shout out to our sponsors right quick. Parker Energy Service. BT8 Services and Rental, Eunice Pump and Supply, Eunice Health Clinic, Eunice Public Schools, City of Eunice, Cardinal Hardware, Redbird Garage, NMR Pipeline LLC, Lobo Trucking, Redbird Gas, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, Guns Up Services, Devon Energy, and remember, Devon Energy is hiring in the Eunice area. Debbie's Country Kitchen, that just turned 27 years old, Man, I didn't, that's hard to believe they've been there that long. You know what? But I made my share of groceries from that place, and <laughs> it don't get much better. And Herrera's Oil Field Service. So thank you to all of our sponsors. Couldn't do this without you, like literally. <laughs> Shout out to the Jones, the Bullmans. Uh, appreciate you guys listening. I believe that's going to be Jolene, and maybe Meemaw, all of them up there listening. We appreciate you for sure. Thank you so much. And uh, once again, thank you all for the for the, the the kind words that are being sent. Tasha Pilcher, we appreciate you guys. Josh Benton, man, that's a uh, that's a name from Cardinal days gone by. We appreciate you guys. And so here's the kickoff from the Cardinals. Loving takes it around bouncing. the 30. 
And then there's a big pile of folks right around the 40-yard line. Loving will take over first and 10 from there. Yeah, we, we definitely uh, appreciate all of you. And Tasha, she's, uh, she's the, the, the housemate, the, the spouse of one of our uh, Unis Spotlight employees that's done an amazing job, Mr. Pilcher. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate you folks listening back home. Definitely do. All right, so Loving heads to the line of scrimmage. Looks like they're spotting it right at about the 40. First and 10. 11 10 is showing on the clock. And now Eunice is going to call a timeout. Oh, we'll yeah, they are. It. They are. So we'll. Uh, I'll look through here a little bit at some of these folks that have been uh, sending messages. You got some any of you. updated scores lately? I don't have any updated scores. Not sure if anybody has any of those. Probably about the time the two teams get back out on the field. <laughs> They'll start calling them in. <laughs> we're usually about a 20 to 30 second delay. So usually yeah. when we say that, it'll take them about 20 to 30 seconds to hear that. And then and then they'll start sending messages. And then uh, we're ready to play. Yeah. Play yeah. some ball. That's kind of the way it typically runs. Thank you, Bill Lord. We appreciate you listening. Appreciate everything. Appreciate the support. We're down to 11 minutes and 10 seconds left in this ball game, and Eunice has a 21-point lead at this point, yeah. 35 to 14. So that's a that's a nice lead, but you know we don't want to let our foot off the gas. Thing can turn, flip around in a heartbeat. So yeah, it's uh, you know a good day, good day here for the Eunice Cardinals, especially with all the things going on. What a what a game that they played so far. Still got a lot of time left. 11-10 is still a lot of time to play, but these youngsters, along with some of our uh, staples, have got out here and done a great job. So here goes Loving. It ain't over yet. Perez takes it around. That young man runs still hard, plowing. <laughs> and he is a plow. I guarantee you, they need to ship him up to. Cloudcroft or Rio Dosa or Red River in the winter because that man could clear a path, I guarantee you. That's a tough, tough fella. Shout out to my mom. She's out there at the, at the house listening, watching on the yeah. on her big screen. And awesome, awesome. She was telling me that Debbie's, where Debbie's location is, used to be a service station years yeah. ago. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere along the line, somebody had told me that before. Second, we'll call it six, ball spotted about the 44-yard line. In motion is loving. They're going to hand it right up the middle to Perez. He's going to duck and go. He's still plowing ahead. And, man, man I'm moving. telling you, <laughs> he is a freight train. And I, I got to, you know, I, I got to say, I don't know why they haven't done that more. <laughs> He's more like not just a freight train, but like one of them bullet trains over there. Man. Over yeah. in Japan, he, he, he don't only push, but he pushes fast. <laughs> yeah, he, he's tough to deal with. Yeah. So first and 10 on the 40. All right, I got, a, got an update on the Texaco JAL game. Right now it's Texaco 21, JAL 13. 21 13, Texaco in the lead. The Harvey family, Houston and crew, listening from Big Dallas, Texas. Go Redbirds, we appreciate you, Harv. Going Here's the, the snap. Bit, They're going to hand it right up the middle to Perez again. He's going to duck and drive through. The Cardinals get there this time. They plow him up and push him back. Yeah. What a play by the Cardinal defense. And there, there, there's what, right where you're talking about. Yep. The play stopped. They hadn't blown the whistle, so we're just going to clean the clock. We're going to get through there. and That's when you have that potential for somebody to get hurt. Bradley Blevins and the Blevins crew listening back home. Once again, thank you all. We appreciate you. Appreciate the update. And uh, the Falcons, you know, they, they still seem content with this kind of slow, methodical in-between plays, even though they trail by three touchdowns, 9-17. Well, yeah. The clock is ticking, and they're walking to the line of scrimmage. I was told Texaco just scored again, 21-12. Okay. Might have to go back and look at that other score that somebody sent me a few seconds ago because... That one might not add up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Loving completes that pass out here to the left side. Nice play there by the Falcons, and they're going to get a first down out of that deal. 8.54. The clock will start as soon as they get the chain set. They've got it set up on the left hash down about the 27-yard line, and it's a first down Loving. And 8.54 left on the clock. And yeah. It's a rolling the, the white hat is saying, run <laughs> well, that, that clock, run that, that clock, run that <laughs> clock. There he goes. He got it going. They set it up. They're ready to go. Loving heads back to the line of scrimmage, first and ten. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. 
Rodriguez in the backfield. He's got Perez over there with him to his right. He fakes that little hard count and takes the snap. Looking to his left, throws that little out pattern, and he throws it way out in front. Yep. Got a Cardinal and a Falcon out there having a little sumo wrestling match. <laughs> Uh, Just keep on blocking till the whistle blows, boys. Speaking of wrestling matches, I went to Dallas a, a few weekends ago and yeah. uh, tore all the hide off my knees <laughs> and off my feet, thinking I was young again. Hey, but and, you come uh, in second place. Yeah, I ended up second, was trailing by two points with about 30 seconds to go in the championship match to a guy that's won tournaments all over the country, including <laughs> New York City. And I uh, just ran out of juice. I just, yeah. I, man, I'm old. I was tired. But uh, anyway, it's a good time. I'm going to go do it some more. They hand it off right up the middle to Perez. He's bobbing. He's weaving. He's across around mm, the 25. They're going to give him some forward momentum. You know, every time I say, why don't they do that more, they do it more, and it don't work. <laughs> it don't work. <laughs> Maybe they can just do it once in a while, huh? <laughs> yeah. Which I guess is good for the Cardinals. That'll bring up third down and about nine yards ago with 8-11 left on the clock. So it looks like they're spotting them about the 30, no, that's the 20, the 26-yard 26. 26 line. Headed back to the line of scrimmage is the Falcons. Three to the right, one to the left. Rodriguez and Perez in the backfield in that little shotgun pistol sideways, whatever you call that. <laughs> he takes the snap. He's looking long. Fakes it out to the right. Now he tucks it, throws it across the middle. He's got a man there who makes the catch and then sets down. Eunice knocks him down. But he's over to about the 15-yard um, line, first and first 10. Down. Yep. Hobbs beat Oregon Mountain 58-10. to 10, So that's an wow. update on Hobbs, Oregon Mountain. 7.30 on the clock. Clock still ticking. Loving content with strolling to the line <laughs> of scrimmage. I think there'll be a little more intensity. A little more pep in that yeah. step, for sure. Loving ready. They take the snap, fake the handoff, throw it over to the right side. Got a man out there. They complete the pass. He's bobbing. He's weaving. He's still on his feet. Here comes Luis Gomez uh, through and cleans him up at the end. <laughs> Luis is a pretty good tackler. He definitely tackled him good that time. So they're down to seven minutes, and it looks like they kept him in bounds again. So that clock is going to tick under seven. Second down, we're going to call it four. Looks like the ball spotted about the 10-yard line, just maybe the nose of the ball inside the 10. Second down, like I said, we'll call it four. Loving heads back to the line of scrimmage. Three receivers to the left, one out wide to the right. Rodriguez and Perez in the backfield for the Falcons. In that shotgun pistol, he takes the snap, looking over to his left, throws it out here to Perez. Perez has a head of steam, but here comes a host of Cardinals. They come in, boom, boom, and, it and they're pushing, <laughs> and it took them all to try to take him down, and that young man was still on his feet with about eight Cardinals. I think I'll just stand up here. He looked like they were trying to build a nest on his shoulders, Tell and he, he wasn't going down, but they stopped his momentum. The whistle blows, and that'll be a loss of a couple, probably four yep. left the Falcons. Third down and about six. Probably a and they've spotted that ball about the 11-yard line. So you're right. I think they've got about six to go. Loving heads back to the line of scrimmage. Five, five, five on the clock and ticking. Here goes Loving. Two to the right, two to the left. Rodriguez takes the snap, looking past the whole way. Has some pressure coming on him. They flush him out of the pocket. He rolls to the right, floats it over into the corner of the end zone. And it may have been a great catch. It was a yep, great was catch. A great, catch. A that great, was a good, great good catch by that young man from Loving. I can't see through the glass to tell who it was, but he made a heck of a catch in the back of the end zone, stretched out in the corner. And it was a good pass there by Rodriguez as he put some air under it and floated it into that back corner with the pressure on him for six points for Loving. It's now 36. 35 to 35 20. 35 to 20. I'm leaning, looking. <laughs> you got the double pane, and it's not the cleanest double pane I've ever seen. Oh, no, my side isn't clean at all. <laughs> so, um, Loving heads out here, going to try for the point after touchdown. They're going to kick this one. They're set up and ready to go. The Loving fight song playing in the background. The ball snapped. The kick is up. It's a high floater, and it is good. And now we've got a score on the board of Eunice, 30, I think that's five. 35. And Loving, 21. With five minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this game. Shout out to some of our sponsors. Parker Energy Services, 
BTH Services and Rental, Eunice Pump and Supply, Eunice Health Clinic, Redbird Garage, Devon Energy, and remember Devon Energy is hiring in the Eunice area, NMR Pipeline LLC, Lobo Trucking, Redbird Gas, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, Guns Up Services, Debbie's Country Kitchen, Herrera's Oil Field Service, Cardinal Hardware, City of Eunice, and Eunice Public Schools. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Couldn't That's do it without them, for sure. Uh, shout out to Brandon Mitchell, listening from Springfield, Missouri. Oh, Brandon's right. a, an old Eunice Cardinal, went to school with me. Rose Garcia, listening from Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa beat Escalante 55 to nothing. Ooh. Bill and Melba Jordan, I mentioned you guys earlier. Gary Ray, appreciate you. Trying to look through here. I'm thinking this is going to probably be an onside kick, if I'm not mistaken. I would guess that that I mean, is probably a, a pretty good guess. Appreciate you, Brandon. Appreciate you listening. And uh, here we go. Here's the kick. They flip it right down the middle. Eunice going to pick it up, run backwards 10, 15 yards. Turning mm -hmm. the corner, though, now is Thompson. Is that Thompson? Yeah, and they got about. It uh, is Thompson. Thompson picked that ball up about the 45. He ran it back to almost the 30, 35. Turned the corner. Give me, that wide, give me 40 acres, and I'll turn this, this ball around here. <laughs> he, he ran a long, long ways to basically get to about well, where he, I think, think he was trying to burn some clock. Yeah, that, that sounds good. I, I believe you. That's a good story, huh? Yeah, he's going to pull a hammy with all that running he was doing out there to, to end up basically at the same spot. All right, so here we go. 5.33 on the clock. We're late in the game. 35-21, Eunice with the ball. Melanson takes the snap from the shotgun. Pump fakes, then throws it over there to Thompson, and it hit Thompson in the hand, and he mm -hmm. had some space. And Melanson... Couldn't quite bring it in. Yeah, Melanson was back there, and one of his... Uh, Offensive lineman, they're going to call him for holding as there was a, it looked like some sure enough WWE wrestling going on there. And so uh, they're going to, looks like scuffle. they're going to push Eunice back here. They're going to take the penalty. The good thing for the Cardinals is that'll give them a replay of the down. Yeah, so they get the first down. and well, They got to burn that clock that down, and they'll get to burn it another down now. Of course, it only burns six seconds off the clock. Yeah, we don't we don't burn much. <laughs> so Eunice heads back to the line of scrimmage, first and twenty. Ball spotted now about the thirty-four yard line. Three to the left, one to the right. Melanson with the ball takes the snap, fakes the handoff. No, he gave the ball gave to Woods. It. Woods trying to get around the corner over there, couldn't get around the corner. He's oh, moving. he's still bobbing. He's still weaving. He's still on his feet. All of that. He's going to pick up about six. Woods, man, he. He just kept on yeah, moving. Yeah, just keeps trucking. So he, I'm, he heard us talking about that other on the other side there. He said, let me show you what I can so, do there. So I just Young. got a message saying Texaco final wins 21-13 over Jal. Okay. So Texaco with the win. Under five minutes to go. Clock still ticking. Eunice actually taking some time here in between plays. You don't see that very often. Even when we're winning, sometimes I sit up here and scratch my head and go, let's run some clock. Yeah, this is a and good time to run a little clock right now. We're running a little right now. This is a very good time to do that. So the loving Falcon faithful coming alive with the defense chat. 21-35, 4.30 on the clock. Eunice heads to the line of scrimmage. Ball spotted about the 38. Taking the snap is Melanson. Rolling to his right. He tries to sling it over uh, here. Had a lot of pressure on him. Ball kind of looked like it came out of his hands funny. Yep. So that'll bring up third down. About 16, 17. Unfortunately for the Cardinals, that also stops the clock. Right. Yep. So third down, and you said about 15, 16. Appreciate you, Sean, and that info. 21-13. I've got several people messaging me about the Texaco final, so thank you guys. I want, and you said they played that in Jow, right? The Zamora family. We appreciate you guys listening. Nathan Payne. The pain is in the house. Bring in the pain, Nathan <laughs> Bring in Payne. The pain. Big Nate Dog. Appreciate you listening. Eunice rolling to the right. That's Melanson. He's going to tuck it. He's got some room. Got a little See if he can. Don't, don't go there. Yeah, stay over there. There you go. Now just stay up. Oop. Oop, oop, and then it's a big shot at the end outside, but no, and no stop flag. The clock. Okay, no I, flag. yeah, I, I was thinking just tuck it and 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 stay in. That way that clock would run. Yeah, but just they go down and let that clock tick. Yep. So now the question is, do we punt? Oh yeah. Or? 
No, we here at go midfield. For it. Let's see what. Let's see what. Uh, yeah, here comes the punt. Yeah, I, I think the punt would be the thing to do. Try yeah. to try to pin it down, pin them down inside the ten or something like that. Maybe even yep. closer. Yeah. So the punt team going to come onto the field for the Cardinals. It's going to be fourth down. We'll call it seven. Ball spotted about the forty-seven yard line. Eunice runs that spread offense set out of their punt formation where they can throw it if you don't get out and cover them. Yeah. And their quarterback is the kicker, so they will throw it at you from right here if you don't cover somebody up. So there's the snap. Malatson's yeah, punt blocked. is blocked, picked up by Loving. The ball's still on the ground, and now Eunice has it. So I think we recovered that ball. That's going to be an interesting decision there because you had a punt that was blocked, picked up by Loving, and then, and then lost, fumbled. and that would be Eunice Ball if they decide he lost it. So if, if he had the ball and then, and then lost mm -hmm. it, it'll be Eunice Ball. It'll all depend on whether they decide the he had possession it. of it right there. So if he had possession, Eunice, if he didn't. Uh, sounded like from the... <laughs> from the sound of things over here the, that he didn't. Yeah, so they're going to say he didn't, and that's going to be loving ball. The Eunice coaches are halfway out on the field with their hands in the air saying, what the heck? Saying, we do just care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not we just don't, we just do care. So four minutes remaining here in this ball game. The Falcons aren't dead yet. They're still fluttering. Still fluttering. Still not running to the line, but yeah. they're still getting there. The good thing here is the clock has stopped, so it's not quite as big a yeah. deal here. It's those times where that clock is running and they're strolling up there that makes you scratch your head. But so here now, we go, first now, and 10, ball the, spotted about the 27-yard line. Time for this defense to stand up. Loving heads to the line of scrimmage, getting ready to go here. Jackie Miller, I appreciate you and Alan always listening. There's a snap, rolling to his right as Rodriguez. He sets up a little screen. They've got some room, rumbling, stumbling, breaking down the sideline is Perez, and he's all the way down inside the 10 to about the 7. Loving knocking at the door here. They're not ready to give up yet. No, not ready at all. So that's what I said. That we got to keep that foot on the gas. They're not going quietly into this night. So here goes Loving back to the line of scrimmage. They hand it right up the middle to Perez. He gets close to the 5-yard line, and they take him down. The clock is running. So three and a half minutes left. So let's trying to see where they were going to spot it. They spot him about the six yard line, 325. Clock continues to tick. That's second and goal, I guess. Yeah, it is. It's second and about five and a half, six yards. They snap it, looking toward the end zone. They throw it into the end zone, and then that is a touchdown. Oh, mercy. Loving as Loving puts six points on the board with a six yard touchdown pass. So the Six. score now, 35 units, 27 Loving, and they're getting ready for that extra point. So the Loving faithful are going crazy now. It's 27-35 as they are trying to get back into this ball game late in the fourth. Loving heads up for the point after touchdown. Going to try to kick it here for two to put them within seven. And now we have... I don't know what we have. Yeah, it says we were offsides. <laughs> oh, they they call a fly, they call a offsides on Eunice. Yeah, they call offsides on Eunice, and neither team's even mm. even like been over to touch the ground yet. They're still gonna kick it, I guess. That's a good thing. I mean, it was like this while ago. <laughs> Nobody had even touched the ground. I don't think. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Now everybody's at least in a set position. All right, here we go. There's the snap. The kick is up. It looked like it was almost blocked, but it's going to get through. And that is going to make so it 28-35 with 3.14 remaining in the ball game. Your score, Eunice 35, Loving 28. All right, I'll run through these sponsors again. Herrera's Oilfield Services, Debbie's Country Kitchen, Devon Energy, and they are hiring in the Eunice area. Guns Up Services, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, Redbird Gas, Lobo Trucking, NMR Pipeline LLC, Redbird Garage, 
Cardinal Hardware, City of Eunice, Eunice Public Schools, Eunice Health Clinic, Eunice Pump and Supply, BT8 Services and Rental, and Parker Energy Services. Yeah, we appreciate what you do. Appreciate all of those folks that make our broadcast possible. Without you, we couldn't do it. So we, we definitely are thankful. And here comes another onside kick, if I'm not... I was guessing. Yeah, and their last one was a, actually a pretty good one. Yeah, just we handled it. Yeah. So here we go. Yep, here it comes again. Eunice covers that one up. Good and job good by the Cardinals. Huh. I think that was big Jose Calvillo that jumped in there and grabbed that he one grabbed up. Grabbed it and just went on down. He That's may be the to biggest, go. toughest guy on the team. But he's also a heck of a basketball player. Got that little left-handed yeah. spin move that he does and uh, showed his hands right there. So Eunice with the football, 313 on the clock, leading by seven here in Loving on the road, somewhat shorthanded, missing a handful of starters yep. today. The Cardinals ready. Here we go. Here's the snap. Melanson going to hand it to Woods. Woods still on his feet. He's bobbing, weaving. Whole host of them back there ripping at his legs and taking him down. Trying to get that ball out of his hand. Yep. And they are going to drive him backwards for about a – one side's got about a two-yard loss, the other side about a three-yard loss. Looks like they're going to show him about a three-yard loss. So it's going to be second down and 13. This is an interesting situation here for Eunice because last time they were on the field, they threw it every time and didn't knock any time off the clock. This yep. time they look like they might want to run it Let's some. run that clock. But uh, I don't know if you take a chance of getting pushed backwards. They throw it across oh, the middle nice of the green, green gloves. Here comes Mata. We talked about him in the pregame, how he's always stepping up and doing big things. Yeah, he did and that Mata time. with a big play. Melanson did exactly what he needed to do. Continued to back up, pulling that defense to him as they all come. He dropped it right behind them to Green Gloves, who pushed forward for a big play and a first down Eunice. And the clock's running again. 226, 223. Down to 220. Ball spotted about the 33 yard line. Eunice in the huddle, taking on, the time off the clock. Ball on that right hash for the Cardinals. Eunice in the white, loving in the red. Eunice leads by seven here, 210 on the clock. Melanson takes the snap, fakes the, no, he hands it to Woods. Woods got a little space over on the left side. He's going to get a couple of yards. And then late, a ball popped out. It's going to depend on what the officials say, the loving group saying that it was a fumble. And now, now they're going to take a timeout. The loving faithful wanting to fumble, but they had blown yeah. it. It looks like dead yeah, way back dead. here, which is about four yards from where the fumble took place. <laughs> That's what we've, you know, we've talked Man, about that right. off and on the whole game, how there's a lot of those little, like, pileups where the momentum right. stops and then there's still action going on. Shoot, we got the, we got the benefit of that earlier where yeah. Woods got stopped up over there, and then the next thing you know, he breaks out to the side and runs – 50 yards for a touchdown, but uh, we've got a timeout on the field. We'll keep it here. We'll keep talking about some of the things that are going on here. Uh, Want to shout out to our um, this week's Eunice Schools Employee of the Week, our Spotlight Employee. We appreciate you. Appreciate all you do. Hard-working young lady, Marisol, at the Medi Jordan Elementary. We appreciate all your hard work and the things that you do to make Eunice great. So thank you so much. Well-deserved uh, honor for tonight. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, uh, we'll take care of you. The Jones family and Cole Brew will definitely take care of you. We appreciate you. 28-35 is the score, 158 on the clock. Both teams didn't use much of that timeout. They're already back out there in their positions. <laughs> ready to roll. Ready to go. The White Hat's going to step back, blow the whistle. Cardinals with two to the right, one to the left. Melanson in the backfield. He's got Woods beside him. He hands it to Woods. Woods bobs, weaves, and gets maybe to the original line of scrimmage. And now we're going to have another timeout. timeout 152. That by burned. Loving. That was a six-second run right there. So third down and about nine for the Cardinals. Loving trying to manage that clock. I don't know how many timeouts they got left. Does that say one? I think they got one left. Yeah, so they'll have one so left. So this next play is a, a, a big play for the Cardinals. If we could get a first down here, pretty much call it a game. Yeah. Right? You know, some of the things that uh, would be – Things that, that, that I would lean toward is just a armchair guy sitting back here watching mm -hmm. is spread them out, clear that backfield out, 
and uh, let Melanson, if he's got somebody wide open, let him throw it to yep. him. Otherwise, but, uh, otherwise, let him tuck it and use the legs. Let that six foot one wide body frame that can run duck and plow forward. Tell him stay in bounds and pick up a few yards yep. and make sure you hold on to the football. And don't get hurt. Yeah, <laughs> whatever you do. Yep. So um, coming back out. And man, if he could pick up even just four or five, that would. Uh, put you in an interesting position coming into fourth down. So here comes Melanson back to the line of scrimmage. They've got a clear backfield. Oh, no, Woods is beside him. He was hiding. Look Woods at, going to block for him. Yep, he's Melanson going. heads around the left side. He's, he's still on his feet, down. and he's going to pick up a first down and yeah, stay in bounds, and the Cardinals we'll are going to tick some time off the clock now as Loving burned their timeouts during that last set of downs. Actually, they have this. If they well, took one here, this is the last timeout. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. They burn them all yep, up yep. while I go, so they've got one left. So that should pretty well put the the plug in the jug. Is that what they say? So 135 on the clock. The clock is running. Loving not trying to burn it anymore. First down and 10. Ball spotted about the 20. Units taking their time. No need to hurry here, boys. None at all. I would not be surprised if they just did the little drop little back kneel, kneel thing where they u lose. Yeah, I just wish they yards. wouldn't go back. Yeah, ten as yards every time. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. They he's hand it to Woods. To They're going to try to run. He's bobbing. He's weaving. He's around the left side. Yeah, he breaks it in. Ten in. inside the ten yard line. Turns the corner. Looks like he got knocked out of bounds over there. But Woods <laughs> trying to get in the end zone there. You know, you just might think about using their time out here in a minute. 103 on the clock. I don't know. I, I looked for them to drop back and do yeah. the little kneel down, but they're like, hey, we could punch it in. Might just punch it on in. So that's going to make two. it. It looks like first and goal. I can't. It looks like the ball spotted just inside the 10. And the Cardinals head back to the line of scrimmage. First and goal inside the 10. Now they're in that little victory formation, so now I expect them to just catch it and kneel, and they do. And so I believe that is going to run you. No, it's not going to run at all. No, so it's, it's at 55 play. seconds. Yeah, you'll probably have them do that one more time. <laughs> they go back like 10 yards every time they do that. I don't know why. Yeah, I've got a few people already sending me messages about the, uh, the player of the game. Man, I got to tell you, just looking at these numbers, there's a whole bunch of them that it could be. We've had some young men that have had some great up. games. Yeah, some I mean, some games. great ones. Some young men that have done good things. Trying to see here. Yeah, man, that's a, that's, that's a tough one. 22 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, and now they nail it. Clock um, continues to tick, and I think it. that'll probably – probably do it this time let's see what yeah yeah i think they're going to take it off that's going to do it here in loving your final score Eunice 35 loving 28 a shorthanded Eunice team comes in here takes care of business in their last regular season game of the season mm, uh let's should see pretty much clinch the uh yeah, that'll, that'll be the district championships. Your Eunice Cardinals will be your district champs as uh, Jow beat, or I'm sorry, Loving beat Jow today. We've got the win over, over uh, Texaco. I'm sorry, Texaco beat Jow today. We've got the win over Texaco. I, I don't think there's anything that could happen next no. week that would change anything. So with that said, your Eunice Cardinals are your district champs. Your player of the game, man, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at them here. I think... I think in a close one, in a close one. Jimmy's sweating harder than he Man, has all I, night. <laughs> I tell you what, I think I'm going to go with Melanson. Um, Elijah Melanson, your player of the game. Elijah, we owe you a drink on us. We appreciate you. Elijah. Congratulations. Uh, great game. Did a lot of good things. Congratulations to those leaders on the team for stepping up, taking care of business, those yep. youngsters for stepping in and plugging the holes. Uh, this team has had a lot of drama, a lot of contra controversy this week, yep. but they got out here, didn't let it get to them, got the W, and at this point in the season, that's what you need. Yep. want to shout out to those sponsors one last time. Parker Energy Services, BTH Services and Rental, Eunice Pump and Supply, Eunice Health Clinic, Eunice Public Schools, the City of Eunice, Cardinal Hardware, Redbird Garage, Devon Energy, NMR Pipeline LLC, Lobo Trucking, Redbird Gas, Eunice Wrecker and Rental, Guns Up Services, Debbie's Country Kitchen, Herrera's Oldfield, 
Devon Energy is hiring. Remember, tomorrow, the Eunice Youth Football people will be playing up there at the field. If you ain't ever went up and watched that, go check it out. Oh, it's yeah, pretty that's neat. a lot of fun. That's Man, I tell fun. you, there's flag football. There's tackle pad football. There's there's all kind of stuff up there. And, and uh, to me, it's a lot more fun at that level. I, I enjoy, I laugh, I giggle, I smile watching those kids just have a good time. It gets a little more serious when you get up here. Whether yep. some people want to admit it or not, up here your whole town takes it a little oh, more yeah. serious. And so uh, anyway, we, we would uh, encourage you to go up there, check them out. And it's um, only like three or either, I think it's $3 to get in. And they usually have a concession stand. You can sit and watch a little football. It should be a nice day tomorrow. So. Yeah, I, I appreciate you guys. Play. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Hobbs. Thank you, Randy. Appreciate Jackie. All, all the folks that are sending us messages, thank you so much. For Charlie Fairbrush and Resendo that's not with us today, um, you know, I, I just I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to the Eunice community for standing behind our, our kiddos. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, and don't get me wrong, I, I think that, uh, you know, we, we need to – need to smack them on the back of the neck and tell them hey do right at the same time we got to stand yeah. behind them and understand that we're all going to make mistakes i've made my share in life and i guarantee if they had buried me behind the first 50 <laughs> that i made I, I wouldn't have been a successful person in my life so yeah. so uh, anyway it happens i've made my share of, and done my share of dumb things in fact i might do some tomorrow or today or as i was leaving the house today my wife's like be nice be nice she knows i might do something dumb but uh well, i think it's went real well and you know, the, the community just needs to stand behind the boys. They, they made a mistake, but who hasn't? Yeah. <laughs> if, yeah you, if, if you live in a glass house, don't throw rocks, what I always yeah. you know, went by. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I was having a conversation, and, and this is the last thing I'll say about it. I was having a conversation today with a law enforcement uh, administrator from another town who sent me a message that, that, in my opinion, seemed a little negative about our team and the mm -hmm. situation. And my response to him was, how many officers from your department have gotten in trouble because they did something? Some of them breaking the actual law, mm -hmm. not breaking a rule or a policy, law violations. And, and yeah. I said, you know, do you, do you throw those people out of the department forever? I mean, how many officers are out there working that, that have made mistakes, have done dumb things? As adults, we make those. What, you know, if, if, if we're going to bury a bunch of kids for, for something, I, I just don't get it. So anyway, no. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm always going to support our boys, our yep. kids, um, uh, boys, girls, whatever. Um, I have spoken to numerous, numerous JAL employees of their school, coaches, administrators, people that I know down there, great people who have patted me on the back, laughed, and said, you know what? If that's the worst thing that happened in a Jow Eunice <laughs> rivalry, uh, it's a pretty good year. So uh, oh, anyway, we, we love us some Jow Panthers when we're not playing you, yep. but when we do, Just when we're not playing. the claws come out or the beak does, the whatever. Beak. Um, the you know, beak. Keep our heads on straight. Keep plugging toward the goal. Love you, Eunice. Love everybody back home. Thank you for listening to No Mark Broadcasting's coverage of Eunice Cardinal Sports, and good night. Good night, everybody.